Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Data here, and welcome back to our live franchise mode series on NHL 24 with our expansion, San Francisco Starfleet Squad, episode number 22, moving into year number seven, the 2029-2030 regular season. If you're joining us after you've already gone live, as always, you can hop ahead to the five-minute mark, that's when we'll get started, but if you're joining us live here this evening on a lovely Thursday evening, then you can just uh, go ahead and settle yourself in as I'll start doing all the details as I I always do and we'll start welcoming everybody in we have a double header tonight as we'll also be keeping tabs on the penguins versus the red wings in the real world nhl a huge game this evening as it will likely determine i would think the islanders are getting a bit more confident in their spot but that last wild card spot likely comes down to the penguins the capitals the red wings so a big big game here between pittsburgh and detroit to decide who's getting that last wild card spot gen z welcome to the stream my friend so we'll just do all the usual things up until the five minute mark. We're gonna get the the, um, the stream going here. This one entitled "Chief of Security" in honor of our newest acquisition from the off season. We made a few changes in the off season. Joseph and Joe, welcome to the stream. But most notably, our new chief of security here in Starfleet will be Maurice Sider, 88 overall on the block, not on the block, but uh, expiring UFA for the Red Wings. Hasn't been doing as well in the sim as he does in the real world. Captain on the bridge, welcome Dice. Big Mo, our new chief of security, big six foot four, four and a half star physical, five star defense, the German, great for the nationalities. He's our new chief of security here in San Francisco. But some other changes that have been made over the off season, and we're excited to see how this team performs in year number seven as we're trying to challenge as reigning and defending President's Trophy winners. We're going to try and run it back this season, but it's not going to be easy. So let's just get all the usual things ready to go. Last season, we had the winningest season in franchise history, going 55, 20, and 7. But we fell in round number one to the 16th seed, St. Louis Blues. So that was an extreme disappointment. Where did so where did Fox sign his ridiculous deal? I have like 17 million. Let's check it out. Erickson should be second. We could do that. It just hit he both he and... Um, Axel, Sandy, and Plika can't be together. But Erickson could be a second pair. Just want to ease him into it in his first NHL season. I'm sure by the end of the season, I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the season he gets there. But the start, we'll, we'll wait. Landon, welcome to the stream, buddy. So Adam Fox, he's out with the Canadians. Bang, like Canadian, eh? He signed for how much in La Belle Province? He signed four. Oh, really? He overplayed his hand. Wow. S, welcome to the stream. He wanted like six by 17. He overplayed his hand, and he ends up getting one year at 11.96. Wow. That's really something. Whew. So Adam Fox is uh, going to be back into free agency next season, it sounds like, as he wanted too much for too long, and he didn't uh, didn't play it too wisely there. Wow. Uh, so I'll go ahead and just hold it here. There we go. You can just take a look at the lineup as we get started. Go Starfleet, welcome to the, to the stream, Hobbsy. Okay, go ahead and pull up the game on my phone as well. A little Helix TV app, thank you to Videotron. Probably one of the worst apps ever created, but... And Big Dan starting it off early with the 499, getting a quick lift before I catch up. Having a great, have a great stream, everyone. Dan, thank you with the great start. That gives the the momentum for this evening that we needed. Getting the ball rolling, the trains moving out of the station, and we're getting the warp drive on, up and running with the 499. Thank you, Dan. I'll go ahead and add another entry for Dan for the Creative Player uh, raffle. I, every time, every stream I've been saying, okay, I'm adding it, I'm coming soon, it's coming soon. I want to put a date on it. I'm going to say probably by the end of April. I'll give it like a good two months to, to get people get their entries in. I'm going to put a loose deadline right now for this round of created player entries. To say around the end of April, we'll do a drawing. And if you don't win, I'm going to... I want to get into the details, but it's not like you got to redonate to get entries again. Your, your entries can still um, transfer over uh, to a certain extent. So Dan, add another entry there. Perfect. I'm going to say around by the end of the month or so. Thanks for starting off early, Dan. Okay, just got to share it on Twitter. We're ready to run it back. As defending presence trophy. Chamber. Ah, I'm, I'm four characters over. There we go. Just made it in. Are created players in line for fantasy leagues? If so, end of it. That's yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking as well. Because yes, in the, in the data seven eight two fantasy hockey league, the top five players get created players as well. 
Mackenzie, Data still collecting that honeymoon fund? Yes, I am. Yes, the, the wedding fund, the honeymoon fund. There's a lot to collect for right now. So, hey, if you want to add to it, feel free. Hobbs, I feel like it's just Doggy and Joe with 90% of the entries. I, I, should, I should do the numbers on it. Actually, I forgot to mention, I got to say this. I, it, I kept it in my head. Thank goodness I remembered. Mr. T had a very generous donation last episode. Uh, last year, I think it was the Expo stream, maybe. And the it was through PayPal, though. So it was a, I think it was we gave him four or five entries, but I forgot to double it. So just keep in mind that they have been doubled because it was through the PayPal link in the description. Data for when we get to the time of creating a player, how different is NHL 24 from NHL 23 options? I'd say it's pretty much the same, I think. You can still add your own uh, X factors and everything. I don't think there's any difference, Joe. Um, so it's top five. So in the first place, it, the, the potentials go down. First place gets medium franchise. Second place gets high elite. Third place gets medium elite. So on and so forth. Mark, Mark, I would donate, but I can't. Mark, your donations are done, buddy. We're on the PlayStation 5 that you donated. There's, there's no need for you to make any more ever again. What will the created player do? Will this player join multiple franchises as a draft? The player will join one franchise, either our next NHL franchise mode or our current MLB franchise mode because you can change the name of a player in MLB. That'll be what it is. Okay, so the tweet's out. I've already gone over the five-minute five mark. My apologies. Who's ready for Marcus Breeland, the Latvian savior? Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to have this player. I've been so excited from last Thursday, just waiting for Marcus Breeland. Just waiting to get him into the simulation. 23-year-old Marcus Breeland. He was a fourth-round pick by Dallas. Power forward with low elite potential. Five star physical, 90 shot blocking, 94 stick checking, and four and a half star shooting with the 90s for the accuracies. I cannot wait to see how this guy simulates. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets into the third line uh, um, soon enough, especially if we consider injuries. Whelan with Breland, yes. I'm going to go ahead. I don't want to jinx things, and, and I never want to hope for injuries, but I will say after I got angry about injuries being too much, I moved it down a little bit lower. Tyler, been following for a couple years now and finally get to join live. Thank you for all your hard work and content data. Wow. Tyler, that, that's so kind of you. Thank you for saying that. And even though you've been watching the shadows, I appreciate your, your steadfast support. And thanks for dropping in and saying hello. So kind of you to share the... the um, the uh, generous words much love back to you my friend thank you for that what a great way to start the stream dan with the dono and the kind words from tyler big love to you tyler and eloy same thing finally catching the live too let's go yes perfect timing so where am i going I'm looking at injuries sorry injuries i want to look at so injuries i think it was like 17 18 i moved it down to 14 one dot out of 100 goes a long way so i'm just gonna bump it up to 15 on 100 that's all i'm doing i'm not sure if that's gonna do much but I'm gonna, just to try and keep it in the name of trying to have realism, we haven't had many injuries in either of our franchise mode series in a little while, like major injuries, which is good, but at the same time, there should be some happening. So we're going to go ahead and uh, bump it up to 15 on 100. So I'm going to read the comments from the last one, and then I'm going to open up my uh, the game on my phone here. Yeah, now here come the 20 injuries in one month now. <laughs> so not too, too much to say from the last one. A bit in the Discord server, a bit in the live stream from last week. If we go to the comments from last episode, uh, here we go. Yeah, looking at the lineup here. Essentially, when it comes to our lines, we're looking at a lineup of, and you know, I never officially said it, but here we go. Let's get this episode started now that we're way past the five-minute mark. Welcome, everyone. Starting off year number seven in San Francisco as defending President's Trophy champions, 2029-30. Let's hit it. So our top six this season has no new faces, but new in terms of growth as Ryan Rubrik is going to go from the third line, excuse me, hiccups already. I didn't even drink yet. I've all had supper not too long ago. Ryan Rubrik's going to move up from the third line to the second line. Five-star shooting sniper, sixth overall pick back in 2026. We really want to get him growing. By 21 at 85, this is a make or break kind of year. I don't want him to stay at 85 to get to 22, 23, 24. We got to get him into those high 80s. 43 point, 25 goal rookie season as a third liner. That's okay. But now let's get him on that second line. Let's really make sure that we foster his growth. So there's our top six. If we want to move players around, we got to be careful. Rubric and Perfetti are both Canadian. The rule of this series is that we can only have one nationality per line. So Perfetti and Rubric have to always be on a different line. And Lysel and Lindholm have to always be on a different line. So essentially, we can swap Perfetti with Rubric, or we could swap Lysel with Lindholm, but we can't do much more. Or we could swap McIntyre with Fiala. Not many changes we could make. 
On the third line, Artemi Panarin, he's been incredible, but he is going to start regressing soon. He has top nine potential. 88 overall, who just had a 101-point season. So we're definitely still going to be utilizing him on power play one and all that stuff. He'll still have a huge role on this team. But as he continues to regress, we're going to have him play on the third line with Stenberg and Kubalik, who we just brought in. And hopefully he can continue his, not at the same pace, but he can still be a great presence there. Kubalik, we signed him in free agency as a Czech player. That's very valuable for the nationality. He has uh, two more years, well, starting with this season and the next at 5.5 million. 34 years old, 85 overall, coming off of a 54-point season. He'll play third line. On the fourth line, I'm so excited for Marcus Breland, who we found in free agency. A Latvian power forward drafted in the fourth round of 2025. Five-star physical, four-and-a-half-star shooting, uh, 90 shot blocking, 94 stick checking, six-foot-one Latvian powerhouse, signed on for two years at $1.5 million. Uh, yet to play in the NHL. Last year, he had 48 goals and 63 points and 134 penalty minutes. What a beast! <laughs> While playing 1945 of ice time. So Breland, I can't wait to get him into the NHL now after he's been in the AHL and the stars let him walk. Come on. Come on, Landon. So if we go to the defense now, the biggest change, as you see in the title of the episode, Chief of Security, there is Maurice Sider on, uh, on Lieutenant Worf's body. Maurice Sider, our big acquisition in the offseason, we traded for his rights. He was, things weren't going too well in Detroit, and he was going to be an expiring UFA. We signed him to a big 8x8 eight eight contract right there, and we're going to have him as our first pair, hopefully for the long, long term, playing with Cole Hudson on his left. So Cole Hudson, our 13th overall pick in 2024. This is going to be his second season as the guy. Last season, his first year with big ice time, 52 points while playing over 25 and a half minutes per night. So hopefully now, with instead of his partner being fill in the blank, Guliev and Ramirez and Romanov, we were rolling it around. Now it can be more insider. On the second pair, we're starting with Ramirez and Pelika. Jalen Ramirez, second round pick in 2024. One of the rare growth we've one of the rare instances of growth from a from a second round plus pick, as we're seeing him now get into the into the 80s. Um, what did he do the last couple seasons here? Let's see. So it's 18 points in the last 82 games last season, but he was a plus 35 with yeah, he's, he's playing big minutes. He's gonna be in his fourth NHL season now. He's been very solid in that role. And Axel Sandin Palika, we picked him up in the Red Wings as well, I believe, last ep uh, two episodes ago. Uh, so after his first full season with us, after he had scored 20 points in, tw in 82 games, he scored 33 and 79 with us. So Axel Sandin Palika grew from like an 81 to an 83 over the course of the year. Hopefully he can... And Quinn, welcome aboard. Everyone's making the stream. Ramirez's is potential is still strong as well. So Ramirez and Palika, great to see from them as growth is coming along. Mila, welcome to the stream. On the third pair, we're very excited about Ludwig Eriksson. He was our second overall pick in 2028. I think we're pretty much done with big top five, top ten picks now. Ludwig Eriksson, the second overall pick in 2028. Whoever we got the pick from, they wanted to trade that pick. We said, let's make it happen. I know it's rare to take a big defenseman with a top pick. You usually take a big scoring 83 overall forward. But we said, let's go for it. Breland scored those 48 goals with about 19 and a half minutes of ice time in the AHL, Joe. So Ludwig Eriksson, we drafted him, defensive defenseman. We kept him one more year in Liga. He scored 36 points in 54, excuse me, excuse me, 14 points. and was a plus 36 in 54 games in Liga. He's now an 82 overall, listed as a top six defenseman at 19 years of age. So he's already growing from a 79 to an 82. That's a good sign so far. I wouldn't be surprised if he's playing second pair with like Ramirez before long. But for now, we're going to keep him playing third pair with Romanov, one of our final remaining original Starfleet members. He's been here with San Francisco ever since the beginning. He had his best year with us last season, 26 points and a plus 19. Alex Romanov has been a trooper. And when it comes to the goaltending, we have Yuha Mikula, the reigning Vezina winner in his rookie season as well. It was a no Calder, but a Vezina in his rookie season, 37, 16, and 5. And that's true, Gen Z. He scored 40 the year before Breland did with less ice time. Yuha Mikula won the Vezina as a rookie last season, going 37, 16, and 5. Four shutouts, a 914 save percentage, and 2.64 goals against average. Salut, mec. Hope you had a great day. Yes, I did, Dom. Merci beaucoup. Et la même chose pour toi, mon ami. It was pouring rain, but it was, it was a nice day. Thank you. Um, review in Pittsburgh. Ah, oh, the game's going. I gotta get the game. I gotta get through the comments so I can open up the games here. Um... Did he have assists? Yeah, he has three assists in his career so far. Uh, no, just one in the NHL, though. 
So Miko, yeah, he got the call there. Now he's 23. He's high elite with at 23 years of age. He'll be on an expiring entry-level deal, though, so we got to be careful with that. Backing him up is Russell Brindamore, who we signed in free agency. Medium starter potential, third-round pick of the Oilers a few years ago. I do, I yeah, I, I, I wanted... There was a point in my life where I didn't want the Penguins to win. You know, younger brother, my brother a Penguins fan. But I've come to a point now where we agree. I, I, I just want to, I want to see the, the Penguins do it, you know? I want to see the Penguins do it. I love the storylines of these older players carrying their teams. I love seeing Crosby doing what he's doing. I love the idea of an underdog, not an underdog team, but just a team with like, you know, uh, makeshift pieces and uh, uh, reject pieces even in some in some instances slap together and just scrape their way to the playoffs. I like that kind of story as well. Uh, Hobbs, you saying, I have to think that if a rookie goalie in real life won the Vezina, they win the Calder. Yeah, you would think, right? So yeah, I'm, I'm going to say there was a point, you know, in the 2008-2009 playoffs, I'm, I was going for the Red Wings more. Just to probably be a, a bit of a stickler, but now I'm, I, I, I'd like to see the Penguins make the playoffs. Uh, anyways, Russell Brendamore only played a couple games in the NHL. He's going to be our backup, but he's fighting with Jet Greaves, who we've had for a couple of years now. He's been pretty solid in relief in the NHL. He's played 20, he's had 25 appearances, 13 with us, almost all those numbers with us. So basically a 925 plus save percentage and like 2.2 goals against average with a combined record of 15, 4, and 2 with a shutout. He's been great in the regular season when he's coming in relief. But in the playoffs, e 887 save percentage, 3.69 goals against average. He's 8-8 eight and eight in 16 appearances. So, yeah, he's been good as a backup in the regular season. That's a very different story. Penguins Nightmares from 2017, I'm sure, Hobbsy. But they have that one guy and that one in management that stopped me from being... And Dom with a 699! You deserve more views, brother Bang. Dom, merci bien, mon ami. Merci beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup. With the 699, that gives Dom two entries into the uh, raffle for a created player. Two entries right there for Dom. Thank you very much, my friend. Very kind of you. Much love to you, and thanks for the kind words on top of it as well. We're getting going with a great and a great with a great start here between Dan, Dom, and Tyler and all that. Love it. That's going to be a great start for this. That's just what the boys need here in San Francisco. Sposal 7th D, Jan Yenik as a Czech player as well is there as 13th forward. And there we go. So sorry for a bit of a longer recap. There we are as a team. It could it be Elias Lindholm's last season with us? He's 34 now. Signed on for one more year after this one. Eh, we'll see. Fabian Lysel was the story of last season. Top nine potential, but scores 75 points. So there's a lot of storylines to follow along, and we're excited to get it going. Uh, so yeah, just comments from the last one. Uh, DK, DRK, excuse me, DRK Design saying the professor on line two is criminal. <laughs> LOL, awesome series. I hope to be able to find, uh, fi finally hop into a live stream soon. So I agree, you know, the, um, we will, Mark, we will, we definitely got to do that. If we are saying that McIntyre's on line two, that's tough because we want him on line one. He's a 90 overall. He can score 50 goals. He's done it twice in his career already. He's incredible. And then Joe with the 699, the third now, before we even get the season started. Oh, that was you, Quinn. Gotcha. Perfect. Joe with the 699. Let's go, Starfleet. My episode, McIntyre for Captain... Uh, for Captain and MVP with the 699. And you know what? Sorry, my apologies. Two entries was was 10 and up. Wasn't that it? Or is it 699? It was I forget. Somebody remind me, was it was it five and up or was it ten and up that we said two entries? But either way, I'm gonna slap another one for Joe there, and maybe I've been counting it wrong this whole time for you, Joe. I just want to make sure you're getting your right votes. So McIntyre, yeah, he had a 94-point season this past year. He had 21-29 of ice time, which is a career high. But if we play him on line one, that means that either Perfetti or Lindholm, or even, eh, not really Fiala, we need someone who's going to be, who can play center, and that's not Rubric or Lysel. So Perfetti, Lindholm, or McIntyre have to play on the third line. If Perfetti comes, uh, comes down, Rubric has to go up. And if Lindholm comes down, Lysel has to go up, which is not a bad thing. So we could definitely keep that in consideration. But at the same time, McIntyre, yes, he scored 50 goals, but Cole Perfetti, hey, he just scored 108 points with 18-27 of ice time. We want to give him some more ice time too. So both Perfetti and McIntyre would be needing some more ice time. I, w I wish they could both be on the first line, and they could be in theory, but it would mean probably doing something like this like we, we could do it Lysel, Perfetti, McIntyre could play together but then we have no chemistry is that a big deal necessarily maybe not but just putting it out there there are some different ways we can play around with the line combinations and we're not done yet so definitely a few ways we could look at it um 
Landon, that site you gave me, is that... Oh, okay, no, never mind. My brother got into the game. Thank you. Good. Kang, yeah, it was Kang the Conqueror who won uh, the Calder. Joe, Dan, Dom starting it off early. Love it. So, yeah, I'll add one more entry for you, Joe. And I'll add one entry for Dom, thanks. I think it was nine ninety nine and up, we had said, right? Like, 10 and up, I mean. So, 99 and under would be uh, one entry. So, anyways, that's the, definitely the line combinations that we're thinking about. Um, Caleb leaving a comment saying there's a prospect named Funk who's from Italy that we definitely want to go after next year's draft. Uh, we can sh save Chef Jeff for the next franchise mode because Ovechkin might more, make more sense for us. Alex Ovechkin being the guy that we pick up at the deadline could be an idea for us as well. Uh, let's see. Cheating Heel saying, good offseason, great move getting our future top right D for a decent price. Not a lot to do apart from maybe doing a prospect retool by trading some of our stagnating prospects to give them a change of scenery as our lineup looks solid and chemistry is quite good. So when you think about those guys, Lucic, Emelin, Haikila... Um, Knights, a few of those guys are the ones who come to mind. Not a lot of options to trade for. Um, Cheating Heel saying, I'm quite satisfied with the tweaks that were made. Let's get the show back on track and go for another cup. Go Fleet. Thank you, Cheating Heel. We're going to definitely look into that. And wrapping it up with Intelligent Dice over on the Discord server. Summary of my random thoughts for San, for San Francisco. Consider moving Lysel and McIntyre to line one in exchange for Fiala and Lindholm. Essentially what we just said. I think they need more ice time. Also, revisit the AHL staff. So if there's any other comments in the Discord server, please let me know. I think that's all I saw. We definitely want to look at overhauling the AHL staff a little bit, probably. Crosby hasn't been helping us, unfortunately. So maybe Cam Beats, he's not been happy. Maybe he comes down to the AHL and he helps out down there. He has A-plus uh, coach influence, A-minus teaching. Maybe Cam Beats goes down. He's also not happy on the AHL staff. Not sure if that'll make him more upset. Hobbsy also called out the AHL staff. Nah, exactly. Perfect. So I would say let's demote Vokun to goalie, demote Setaguchi to assistant, demote Crosby to associate, and then demote Cam Beach to AHL head coach. Mm, staff chemistry took a huge hit right there, though. Went down to 46%. A, the NHL went up. So Cam Beach, maybe he just can't... Maybe we've got to fire him, essentially. Or just, yeah, just to let him breathe. Because he's not going to want to stay here. He's not happy. Low chemistry with Crosby... I don't know. Do I just force him to stay? A plus teaching for Vokun. A minus teaching. C minus teaching. A nine. And then another one from Eloy coming in. For all the hours I've been watched your franchise series, it's only fair that I bring the love to. Hey, the love keeps going. It's true. Staff chemistry will come back. Eloy, and let me know if I'm pronouncing that right. Eloy would be in French. But Eloy, let me go ahead and add you to the list as well with another very generous donation to start off the stream. The love is flowing this evening. Yeah. I don't find it impacts the sim that much. I don't know. I find it has in the past. Dono day around the world. <laughs> so, okay, let's start. Let's do it. Let's do that. And I'm going to sign somebody for the NHL goalie coach spot. Uh, here's Hobbs. There you go, Hobbs. Uh, NHL. Maybe I hire an AHL head coach to be, AHL, to be NHL goalie. Any guys with goalie? Goalie. No one with goalie, eh? HL associate goal is one guy, Kochi, and he has B for teaching, better than nothing, C minus, who is this guy? Bedrick Kochi, what a guy, Bedrick, how about assistants, any goalie assistants? Goalie generalist, goalie, two goalie assistants, who do we got here? Uh, B and B minus, I stacked my coaches early and had sub 50% and then I'm winning President's Trophies every year. Okay, all right, all right. I see you, Eska. We could try that. Or Slegger. 58% team fit. Oh, ben, parfait. Eloi, Eloi. Eloi, parfait. Je vais le faire maintenant en français. Eloi, I was just thinking like uh, Elroy from the Jetsons. Eloi. Uh, pa, 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 pa. So I said the other guy, HL Associate. Or was it, was it a head? No. Yeah, it was this guy. Let's go for Bedrick. It'll be easier to sign him. Get, bring him on NHL goalie coach. Eight years and just see what happens. So that'll fix the, hopefully that'll fix the AHL staff a little bit by having an A- minus head coach with A- minus teaching, I think. Even if the staff chemistry is low. We're not really, we don't care about performance in the AHL. We care about growth. I know growth and performance can go hand in hand. That's what we care about the most. So I think that's about it. Uh, auto scouting should be turned on and goalie auto rotate should be turned off. Uh, sorry, on. And that should get us, get us to the beginning of the season here. 
Uh, auto rotate goalies on, and auto scouting both. All right, beautiful. Maybe that's part of why Mikola grew. Maybe. May oh, that's a good point as well. Maybe. I wish I had definite answers, but why would the game tell us definite answers, right? So I think we're ready to start the preseason. Let's sim to the first day of the preseason here. Uh, oh, I don't. Oh, oh, I don't feel like the size of your team's market is what I'm looking for. I'm an AHL associate coach who's unemployed. I would. I was just offered a job from the President's Trophy winning team who had been to three consecutive Stanley Cup finals in the last four years. But I don't think the size of the market is for me, so thanks, but no thanks. What kind of joke is this? Don't tell me Hobbsy's joining in now! I want in on this dono party to fund the wedding! Wow, Hobbsy! New, na new data national day. That's it. National data day at this point. Yeah, and it is a big market. Hobbsy, his second, second dono. Uh, to the uh, to the list of entries coming in with the big five. Wow, I'm overwhelmed. It just keeps flooding my way. Thank you, everyone, for those kind, kind words and thoughts and uh, literally putting the money where the mouth is. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the uh, Penguins game while we're here at this point. The rent in San Fran is too high. I guess that's it, eh? Kochi fumbling the bag. Nolan Collins, guy for the AHL I signed. He's on board. That's good. And now here we are at the first game of the preseason. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull up the game so I can watch it now at this point because I missed a lot from wanting to read the comments. That's okay, not too, too much happened yet, I don't think. Uh, we said, did we say it was one thing Pittsburgh, or was, did it, had it been called back? Yeah, why does, the co why does the goalie coach care about the market size? So back to the coaching staff. Uh, Kochi, I'm rubbing me the wrong way, so forget Kochi. We're gonna go with the NHL assistant who was for goalies instead. The Helix app is so bad, it would just, just give me the game, please. With the teaching. This guy was better, eh? Tied to one. Gotcha. Uh, there you go. Sleg. Let's go NHL goalie coach. Eight years. Whatever money you want. There you go. 918k. Oh my goodness. This app is so bad. I just want to watch the game. I'm trying to do it all the right ways. I'm watching it legally. I have a paid subscription. But why would it let me watch the game? That was Sportsnet Pacific. Let me try Sportsnet East. May I watch on Sportsnet East, please? Or should I go through other means? And this Sportsnet East worked. Great. 1-1, one, 11-25 one, to go in the first. Beautiful. So we got tabs on the Penguins going at the same time. Okay. So first game of the preseason. We want to play around with the lines a little bit. Uh, there's only three games in the preseason, unfortunately, so there's not too much to do. So let's just get game one going here. Let's see what happens here in San Jose for game one of the preseason. A few new faces here in San Francisco. First period, 2 nothing, thanks to Owen Beck, Bizu Bizu, and Ryan Rubik, both in the power play. That's okay, ask guy. I got it now. I forgot to set the power play. We've got to do that after the preseason. Second period, 2-1. Monaghan scores. And third period ends 4-1. Breland! There he is! And Ramirez adds an empty netter. Breland scores in his first preseason game with Starfleet. Mikola makes 24 saves. Rubric with the game winner as third star. Beautiful. Uh, all right, nice game to start the preseason. Now, let's make a couple changes here. Admiral, welcome, Christopher. Welcome to the, to the uh, holodeck. Let's make those couple changes. Let's try Lysel and McIntyre coming up. Lindholm to the center spot here. Uh, McIntyre has better face-offs. Should we put him there as the playmaker? Maybe he should be on the wing as the playmaker. Let's try like that. Let's see what happens. Just mixing and matching a little bit. Uh, and on defense, nothing to change on defense. Goaltending, let's give Brindamore a start. Russell Brindamore. Not Rod Brindamore. Let's go here. Thanks again, that's a lot of donations just to start the episode before anything even happened. That's very generous of everybody. Eh? Big love to everyone. First period, 1-0. It's Cole Perfetti on that new first line combo. Then Stenberg scores in his third line with um, Artemi Panarin. Third period ends 5-2. Kubelik and then a couple from Afanasev. Uh, Brendan Moore allows two on 28 shots. That's not too bad. Pretty good. Afanasev scored twice. Kubelik and Stenberg a goal and an assist. The bottom six had a solid evening there. We'll advance to the last preseason game now. A bit of a gap until that one. So we'll advance all the way. Ah, and this guy is happy to join the team. Great. Welcome. No problem. So there's our goalie coach spot filled. Last game of the preseason now. Uh, I'm not sure there's really anything that we want to change up here. Um, I don't know. Lysel. I don't know. Maybe we should. Let's go another, another game like this. Another game like this. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's give this start to Greaves. Greaves is gonna give us that start. For the last game of the preseason here against Anaheim. Here we go. First period, 2-0. Kubalik and Axel Sandin Palika. Second period, 3-0. Elias Lindholm. And final 5-1. Beck and Breeland again! 22 saves on 23 shots from uh, Greaves. We had 5 goals on 44 shots past that guy, Chichu. Palika goal and assist. Kubalik a goal with 5 hits. And Jet Greaves. All of our goalies looked good. In those 3 preseason games, our goalies looked good. So the, I do have to fix the um, special teams. But things looked pretty solid. A fan of Sam had five points in three games. What? Kubalik, Beck, Palika, Fiala, Lysel, and Hudson all with three points. Breland had a couple goals. Uh, Rubric with two points. Stenberg, Panarin, McIntyre all with two. Perfetti, the, the top six though. I know it was only three games, but only one goal. One point from Perfetti, one point from Lindholm. Uh, one assist there from Sider, nothing from Romanov. And all three goalies looked great. All with like 925 plus save percentages. Afanasev is feeling the Breelin. It's a physical fourth line. We only allowed four goals in, four, in three games. So we looked good. We looked very good. It's going to take regular season numbers for us to really know who's where. Okay. Uh, to do just It's crazy. It's going to the 10 year mark. We raised the amounts of regular season uh, games. No, it's a, no, you can't, Joe. All that has to be done uh, before starting the franchise mode, unfortunately. You can't touch any of that once the mode begins. So, yeah, okay, let's fix up the special teams. I and mean, we'll still keep doing some experimentation in the first 10 games or so. I'm going to say let's keep the lines like this for now, and we'll go from there. But when it comes to our special teams, we definitely want Panarin on the first unit, absolutely. Cole Hudson is the quarterback on that first unit as well. Uh, Elias Lindholm, with 86 face-offs, can go center. Uh, Perfetti can be the playmaker over here. Yeah, Fiala's going to go second unit, because McIntyre's coming here. Yes, exactly. Uh, so it's going to be distribu distributor would be uh, Hudson. There you go. Finisher McIntyre, puck carrier Lindholm at the moment. Uh, in the future, Lindholm would come off. Perfetti would go here and maybe like Fiala would go there. On the second unit, we would have uh, Rubric would go. I want Rubric there to get good opportunities on power play unit number two. Uh, oh, but if we have all three of Lindholm, Perfetti, and Fia and um, McIntyre on unit number one, then who's center on unit number two? Maybe it's Otto Stenberg. He gets growth like that. And you know what? Ulua, good points. Maybe Breland on second power play. It just comes down to the ice time. Kubalik, we don't need to get growth from him. He's 34. He's doing his role in that third line. We don't... As, unless he really takes off, we don't need him to be there. So that could be where Stenberg or where Breland comes in. I gotta say, I wanna see Breland. I'm feeling the Breland. So if I put Breland here, let's say... And maybe not... Eh, you know what? Yeah, he could. And Lysel could go here, because now we have no more Ghoulia to play at the point. Uh, like, who who on defense would have to come here? No one, really. Unless it's Axel Sandin Palika. He could go here and be the guy. He has 99 passing, that's the thing. 99 passing goes a long way. But then, actually, no, I want... I need, no, no, Fiala goes... What am I saying? Fiala goes here. We need someone to play center. That's the real problem. I need someone to play center. Salt Lake City, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate for, for, for Arizona. Salt Lake City, I mean, Salt Lake City can get an, an, um, a franchise, whether it's the Coyotes or not. But to see that team relocated again, and if you in, if you include the Jets history, um, that team is like, what? I think I saw their number the other day. It's like 1,400 wins and over 1,500 losses. Like, it's historically, they haven't been good. No matter where they've been. So it's unfortunate they haven't had to go through so much pain. So I guess Breland doesn't fit then. Ah, Breland doesn't fit on the power play. We'll have to get maybe a four-man power play or something like that. Ah. I don't know if I can force it. We need a centerman to play. Stenberg getting ice time here, would, I think that would go a long way for Otto. So if Otto goes center... Basically it comes down to do I want Axel Sandin Palika or do I want Breland? Sandin Palika, if he's going to be a top four guy, we got to give him the minutes. But he, uh, he is playing top four. He is playing top four, even without the power play. What do you do in the preseason here? Both Two of his three points were on the power play. Okay, I'm going to start with Sandin Palika, and then we're going to go with Breland later on. Let's We're going to do some experimentation. Whoa, Tyler coming in again! 9.99. Been watching since the Minnesota Wild Series in HL21. 
Your videos help me actually enjoy the NHL games again despite the brokenness. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. EA, I have no hate in my heart for you. I have no hate in my heart. But come on, it takes a series like these to get people invested, and I'm glad that I've been able to do it and be helpful for it. Whoa! And then Chris comes in with the 20! Whoa! Hold your horses, everybody! Oh my goodness! Go San Francisco and Vancouver, congrats with an engagement ring. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you very much. I'm glad you've been here for so long, Bill, to enjoy so much of the series. That's a long road since uh, from 21. We've been uploading consistently since, the one, since then. I'm glad you've been a part of it. Jerry, welcome to the stream. And Christopher said, Admiral, the locals are getting restless and our population is concerned that we don't have a heavy three Templar line to grind down and beat people into submission. Well, here we go. When it comes to beating people into submission, this is, this is a stream for the all-time all-timers. I find I have six foot four, Breland six foot one, Kubalik six foot two. There's in the bottom six. On top of that, when we look on defense, you got Cider at six foot four, Ramirez at six foot two, Erickson six foot two. We have some good size, but if we need more size and Christopher says it, then we'll give whatever Christopher says with a donation like that. Well, let me add the entries here. Let me add the entries. So Tyler with the 9.99. Well, I'm not going to be a stickler over one cent. That's going to be another two entries for Tyler. Um, and how much had Tyler given before? Hold on. Let me just make sure I have this all properly documented here. Tyler had given... Oh, no. Tyler just said the kind words. So now Tyler gets two entries. Yeah. So Tyler, two entries. And Christopher is going to get... Let's say uh, let's say that's four entries. If If 10 is two... Let's say 20 is 4. Let's say that. So 4 entries for Christopher for a creative player. And thank you for those extremely kind words that go with the no donation that are even sweeter. One of those where were you moments. My goodness. We've had uh, larger donations, during the, usually during the annual fundraiser for the NHL game. But in terms of volume of donors... This is incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, whew, I was thinking about canceling the stream for the to watch the Penguins game. I got to I got to call Lieutenant Tesora and let her know that uh, you know, pick out the extra the extra expensive cotton on the curtains. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that's a commercial break. Wow. So, there's a little detour for a moment, but big 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 love to everyone. As I've said many times before, not to just be a broken record, but I'm glad of the I'm very proud of the community that we've been able, that we've been able to build here. And we've been able to enjoy the game and have fun with it. And it goes a long way to, to receive messages like those. I'm really glad that you've been able to enjoy the series and enjoy your own franchise mode because of what we've been doing here. So thank you. Um, yes. Okay, so now for the penalty kill. Got to get back on track. My brain's got to get back into it. So power play. Well, units one and two are good to go. Correct? Yes. The finisher will be rubric. Even though Fiala has the better shooting, I'll have the finisher as rubric. Hopefully you can get going like that. Puck carrier will be Fiala. Distributor will be Axel Sandin Palika. Okay, we'll go like that. Rubric, uh, he has the five-star shooting, but the 80s on the accuracies. While Fiala has the high 80s, 91 on the accuracy, so it's a bit better for Fiala, but he'll still score. Even though he's not in the left, he's not going to be there as the finisher necessarily. Fiala will still score. So four-man power play. This is going to be where we see some ice time for Breland, I think. So we're going to go Lindholm. No, we're going to go Perfetti here. Panarin... Probably on unit number two. Let's get McIntyre and uh, and uh, what's the name together? Breland's gonna go unit number one. Let's go crazy. 2011 Bruins style. Lucic, Krejci, Horton. There you go. Uh, who did I say? What's his name? Uh, Breland. 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 How do you help the chemistry at all? Plus two. So Breland's gonna get power play time. Four man power play time. Perfetti, McIntyre, Breland, and Hudson. Four-man power play two will be... Um, Rubric can go here, I suppose. If only we had someone else who could play center. Maybe Panarin with, Panarin with the 70 face-offs can go center. Uh, and then Rubric and Sandin Palika can go like that. Or even Fial at the point. Let's try that. Let's go crazy on the four-man power play. Okay. Now, into the penalty kill. Penalty kill unit number one. Uh, Lindholm with his five-star defense. So let's do that defensive awareness a lot. We'll keep Lindholm as first unit penalty kill. We'll keep that. Kubalik's a good guy for that four-star defense. Yeah, let's go Kubalik Lindholm with Cider and Erickson. Yeah, for ice time, let's do that. Cider and Erickson. Let's do that. And then uh, unit number two, 
We'll go Romanov and Hudson, okay. And third unit can be Ramirez and Axel Sandy Plika, okay. Uh, Owen Beck's gonna go third unit. Uh, does Perfetti go penalty kill here? Yeah, five star defense, he should. But actually, McIntyre could be the better centerman. So if McIntyre comes, yeah, it gives the plus one. Let's do that. And really also has good defense. Yeah, that's true. That is true. So Fanaseev, I love you, but two and a half star defense. So Owen Beckson goes center and Breland. So Breland's going to get fourth line, four man power play two, and PK three to start the year. And if things go well, he'll play power play two as well. So Beck, Breland, Ramirez, Palik on that third unit. There we go. Oh, come on. Next franchise mode is Data's Choice. What do you mean? Like, I just decide no pull? Another 20 from Chris. What is going on? Woo, Chris. That, just like that, eight entries for Chris. Just like that, it's eight entries. So, of course, I'm keeping in mind, Joe right now is at 14 entries. If you put all the donations together, that would be like 50 entries. So, I'm keeping it all in mind. Don't worry. I'm going to give extra entries and make sure it's balanced where it needs to be. But, Christopher, you will not be shorted. Eight entries for you right there between those two extremely generous donations. Yes, bang, bang, Chris Letang. Let's go 2-1. Just seeing that. Let's go. Penguins take the league. lead with a nice, yeah, a nice little open space. Five-hole Chris Letang. 2-1 Penguins. Let's do it. Chris, so are you saying I just choose whatever franchise next series? No vote? No poll? The democracy won't like that, but whatever Chris says goes. We'll have to, it's still a little while till then, though. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I'm speechless. This, we're, we're, we're raising the funds for NHL 25 far in advance, and we're going to allow ourselves to be able to make further purchases. If, that's, if we raise enough, the excess is not going to, uh, I, I say honeymoon fund and all that, but really it goes back to the channel. It all goes back to the channel, so I'm looking forward. Uh, the wedding is going to be uh, next, next summer, essentially. It's going to be July of 2025, so it's still a little bit of time, still about a year and a bit. So still a good uh, a good deal for him moving out and all that and uh, maybe I purchase make some new purchases for a new setup and all that. I although I got you know in the last year new chair new microphone PS5 from Mark, but you know things like a new laptop would go a long way. So maybe that would be the next thing that I that uh, we uh, save up for. Wow, I keep getting sidetracked by all these donations. What time is it here? We're 40 minutes in. We haven't even started the season yet technically. Preseason. Why is the fan of playing center at first unit penalty kill three man penalty kill? Wow. Whew. So Lindholm's going to go here. Same defensive pairings. Erickson Sider. Then it's going to be uh, Hudson Romanov. Then Ramirez Palika. Okay. Second... Hold on. First unit is Lindholm. Second unit's going to be McIntyre. Third unit's going to be Perfetti. How much for the raffle ticket for a plate at the wedding? <laughs> You're almost paying for one soon, Christopher. I don't know. Would it be crazy to have a few people invited? I gotta talk to Dan Tesora about that. Would that be crazy? Can we have a few people come? I could see it. Marathon streams. We keep distracting data. Yeah, with the donos. Hey, keep distracting me. No problem. Whew. Okay. Extra lines now. Uh, Lindholm. Now Fiala needs a little bit of ice time somewhere. We've been shorting him a little bit. So Lindholm Fiala. We'll give him four on four line uh, first unit there. But it won't be Lindholm. It'll be uh, let's it'll, it'll be McIntyre. No, Perfetti Fiala. Four on four two will be McIntyre. No, sorry. Uh, okay, no. Unit number one is gonna be Perfetti Fiala. That's true. Fiala's dangerous on penalty kill. Fiala's dangerous on penalty kill. We forgot about that, eh? Or at least I did. Because we have Kubalik as the wingers. Kubalik, Perfetti, and you know what? Let's take Perfetti off. Let's put Fiala there. Yeah. Fiala's gonna be the second pair of penalty, second unit penalty kill. Thank you for that. Good catch, dice. So McIntyre, no, it's going to be Perfetti Fiala, then McIntyre Panarin, yes, then Lindholm and, let's say, Rubric, give him more ice time. Um, well, uh, Milo's saying maybe we get a, four, a fourth line center pony kill specialist like Connor Dewar. Owen Beck is kind of like that guy already, though. I know you, I know the love for Connor Dewar, but Owen Beck's kind of already that guy. Uh, Ryan Rubric can get some extra ice time there. Three on four on four line three. Okay. Three on three lines. Doesn't Kubelik have... Yeah, he does. So Kubelik will stay on the first unit. Three on three lines. This is where we definitely want to make sure we're trying to score goals ASAP here in overtime. So Hudson goes and go unit number one. And it's going to be, of course, the Perfetti-McIntyre combo. Perfetti-McIntyre. 
Second unit in overtime, we're going to go Lindholm, Panarin with Cider. That's fine by me. Third unit, we're going to go Fiala. Do we go Fiala Stenberg? With Axel Sandin Palika? That'd be crazy. Hmm. Because we can't forget about Fiala. He had such a good season last year. We can't forget about him. And you know what? Lysel. You know what? I forgot about Lysel a little bit. I'm, I'm in the name of Rubric and everybody else. I'm burying Lysel a little bit. Which I don't want to do. Okay, we'll give Stenberg time on the on in overtime. We'll give him a chance there. Stenberg, Fiala, Palika. I, uh, I've, did, did I give enough time to Lysel? Well, Lysel is playing maybe first or second line. Early wedding gift in PayPal data. Have a toast on me. Totally deserved. Oh my goodness. Am I going to have a heart attack here, uh, Narf? Oh boy. This is Narf. <laughs> Narf! Possibly with a channel record! Oh my goodness! I don't know, that's a guarantee. I'm, I'm writing it down. Narf, guaranteed player. No entries. Narf, you just got, you bought yourself a player. Oh my goodness. As, as well, it would have been doubled entries in the PayPal. Narf just bought himself a player. Absolute lock. Lo no problem. Guarantee it. Narf, you've given generously before. I've said it before as well. I'm, I'm so glad that the, the channel and the content and the community have been able to provide so much for you. And you provided right back. Thanks so much. Whether it goes to... Not... In, not And, you know, Hopsy saying potential channel record there. Uh, that's a, plate, a player for a wedding. There you go. That might get yourself a plate on top of it. Not to say that it's... Uh, a record in, um, uh, you know, Mark, I think Mark has the record forever for that, but in a single dono. How far, we're doing the whole season, Christopher. We're going to do the whole season as long as it takes. This is going to be a marathon of stream if it has to be. I didn't even mean for this to be so much in the donations. My goodness, you guys. Come on now. Huh? Whether it be uh, a new, whatever I, when I, I move out in the next year, the new monitor, the new laptop, the wedding, the honeymoon, whatever it is. It really does go a long way. Uh, I'm, you know, what am I now? Two years out of university working full time. I wouldn't say the salary is uh, <laughs> very competitive. It really does go a long way. And I thank you so very much for the generosity. Narf and everybody else, but gotta say Narf. April 11th, 2024, remember the day. This is going to be a new, a new, a new, uh, make it a, an annual thing. April 11th every year. Data Dono Day. Channel records crazy. Especially, well, and considering yours, Mila, Yes. Considering yours as well. <sighs> Sidetracked again, but for a great reason. Narf, I send you the most love that an android in another country can send. The biggest hugs and, <laughs> and love to you. Wow. Speechless. <sighs> I don't know what to say. Did you fix your Puckpedia link yet? For your... Yes, the Puckpedia link is there, Tad. The Puckpedia... It wasn't that it wasn't fixed. It was that Puckpedia hadn't posted the link until about last week. So it's there now. Needed to get the news off of... Yeah, that too. Oh my... Don't get me started. That was... I'm infuriated by that. Uh, not by what happened, but by the story. When I think about the story. Oh my goodness. So, okay. Try to advance a little bit more now. Perfetti and McIntyre as the extra attackers. Then we'll get into the shootout. Then we can finally start this season. I don't know where it came from, but the generosity has been unrivaled. Unmatched. 98, 98 for the shooting. 89, 91, 90, 90. Uh, 87, 87, 88, 90. Goes here. Anyone, anyone better than high 80s for the shooting? Narf, man. What a legend. Fiala, 89, 91. Panarin, 91, 92. No problem, Tad. Panarin here. Yeah, my I left the stream to add to fix my uh, note in my phone of who has what donations, and now the game won't load again on Sportsnet. So thank you for saying that, uh, uh, Dice. Two two. De Detroit ends with 14 seconds left. If we get the President's Trophy, I'll add a hundred. Whoa! Anyone putting a hundred plus should really do it through the PayPal link. Just saying that'll go. That really helps. Uh, it really helps uh, in terms of what YouTube takes and all that. YouTube still doesn't take a well, they take a fair share. I'd rather that than what happened on Twitch. But um, still, PayPal's the best way to go. It's in writing. All right, Chris, is that forever or just for this season? There's our shootout lineup. 89, 91, 88, 90. Okay, shootout lineup is set. 
Goalies are set for now. Greaves will start as third goalie, but we'll rotate them in. Uh, there we go. Down in the AHL. I feel like I can't I can't do much more in the AHL. I gotta get the season started here. We're taking a lot of... I, I'm taking a lot of time with all this stuff. So Lucic, Lucic goes top line. RJ, welcome in. What a day for me. And what a day for RJ. What a day for RJ. Let's go. An abs team build. I just know what happened. I will for you, Narf. I will for you. Uh, let's go Emelyn here. Suzuki's going to come down. Uh, Knights is going to come up. I know we should probably make some trades, but let's... At this point, let's just get into the season a little bit. Oh my goodness. Nikulin. Collins. Marchand has to go top pair. Anybody he gets chemistry with? No, this coach hates our defense. That's great. Um, okay, at least I can do this. 23. Low elite. Odell's got to move up in the lineup. Uh, negative three. Great. All right, we'll take the negative three then. Ridiculous. Imanin and Zherdev. Who else is here? Galvis, the goaltender, is here as well. Medium backup. Danielson, low 7th D. Low elite Nesterov and Scarabelli. Two forwards we want in the lineup. Uh, Dan, you missed, uh, the, Dono Day. Data Dono Day. I think more than any fundraiser for an, an NHL game that we've ever had in one stream. Ridiculous levels of donos. Uh, Dice, want to know when the game is back, please? That would be appreciated, because I can't keep the uh, phone open. The link's in the description, Christopher. The PayPal link's in the description. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave the team like that. Except, except for the forwards, like I said, the forwards. Okay, Halton can come out then, I guess. But he has some potential still. Chiono can come out. No problem, Christopher. No problem. <laughs> I, and you know, I don't have, I'm not going to hold you to it either. I'm not going to hold you to it either. Don't feel pressured at all. Suzuki can come down here. Okay, we'll play center. 69 face-offs. Uh, Suzuki here. Let's just do that. We'll make trades as we go, but it's... We're what? We're getting... We're, we're far into the stream. How far are we into the stream now? We're over 50 minutes into the stream. We haven't played a single game yet. We have a whole season to sim. All right, so let's sim to the next... Uh, let's sim to the regular season at this point. Great preseason. We made some changes. We fixed our lines. Let's get started now, ladies and gentlemen. Year 7 in San Francisco. We're coming off of a 50... What was it? A 55-win season? We were 55, 20, and 7 last year. Reigning President's Trophy winners. Chris is gonna has a lot going on. If we hit the, another President's Trophy, we're going triple digits from Chris. So let's see what happens tonight. Let's do it, gentlemen. Game 1, Year 7. Reigning President's Trophy winners. NHL debut for Erickson, Starfleet debut for Cider, for Kubalik, for Breland, and NHL debut for Breland as well. Game 1 of 82. Let's hit it. First period. 2-0 Ducks early. Troy Terry and Leo Carlson. Whoa, why is Brendamore in? Why is Brendamore in? Ooh, hold on a second. Did he get the start? Do I, don't tell me. I... The 80... I, you put auto... My brain just stopped. You put auto-rotate goalie on... And it rotates your 89 out for the 83. Can it be that I have to check everything? I have to check everything? I have to go behind the... And follow the game? No, auto-rotate is turned on. I We just checked that. Can it be that I have to go and check behind the back of this game every two seconds? So, Brendan Moore, there you go. Your NHL debut. Let's go, Russell. Or his, his, uh, his uh, Starfleet debut. Third NHL uh, appearance, I believe. All right, second period, 2-2, two, two, there we go. The Professor, Avery McIntyre, opens it up. First goal of the season for Starfleet, then Kevin Fiala ties it. 2-2 two, two after 40, 21-15 to 15 are the shots in our favor. We're all tied into this final 20-minute period. I forgot if we're on the road or not. I think we're at home. Power play San Francisco, that's killed off. Five, rather, past the halfway point now, into the final five minutes of this one. 2-2 two, two game. Will we see overtime or do we have a late hero on either side? Final two minutes into the final minute. Overtime will be needed. Shots 35-23 to 23 in San Francisco's favor. Uh, and yes, we are in San Francisco Enterprise Arena here on the holodeck. So let's check it out here. Let's go into the, into the, into the live sim here. Um... My bad on missing the PayPal and it's in writing. I want to be no problem, no problem. It's not like YouTube takes eighty percent or something, but it it does it does it doubles your entries to the for the created player and more of it comes my way, which is what you would want. 
All right, three on three overtime. Oh no, EA gameplay. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Face Hold on, Lane Hudson has a little bit of a lane, and he uh, <laughs> Lane has a lane. That's funny. But that's stopped uh, by Michael DiPietro. Back the other way now. Here comes Zegris. A lot of space. Zegris blocker saved by Brindamore. Hudson kicks it away. Now here's Carlson down to Zegris. Zegris back pass to Jersey. Nice save point blank. Hudson across to Perfetti. He has lots of space. Perfetti, take that shot. Okay, with a McIntyre glove save, Di Pietro. Big save. Good, yeah, good thought there, Joe. Signing. What did I say? Cole? Cole for what? Oh, I said Lane has a lane. It wasn't Lane Hudson. It was Cole Perfetti. Ah, uh, my apologies. I thought it was Cole Perfetti. I thought, I thought it was Lane Hudson. Offensive zone draw. Um, one back. Sider from the point. Glove save, Di Pietro. Good push there by Lindholm. Go. Let's go. Uh, they step their fortune out. It's Lindholm, Panarin, and Cider out for the offensive zone draw again. Lindholm wins it again. Cider, good way to get some space. Can't get the shot away though. Jersey's pushed off the puck. Panarin in front scores. I saw it coming a mile away. Elias Lindholm, the captain, wins it in overtime. Oh, what am I saying? It wasn't Cole. It was. <laughs> it's not that I said Cole Perfetti. It's that I meant to say Cole Hudson. Not. What am I saying? Lane has a lane. Lane Hudson. <laughs> Cole Hudson, not Lane Hudson. The captain wins the home opener, the season opener at home. Overtime winner from Elias Lindholm. The captain gets it done on the doorstep, and it's a beauty. Yeah? Great little uh, beauty, maybe a bit of a, a bit, 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 bit of a word. And Artemi Panarin, he still got it, even though he's on that third line. We're still using him in a big role this season. And there we go. Who's is that? The captain skating through. There he is, the game winner. He has to do the little paddle boat, paddle, uh, paddle boat through the the what's it called? The whatever of honor, guard, of, guard of honor. Shots end 39 to 25. Russell Brindamore gets the win in his NHL debut, and the captain wins it in overtime for game number one. Wow, that was a big one. That was a big one, ladies and gentlemen. Great way to start it off. Ring of honor. Okay, so it wasn't what I was trying to think then. That's not the ring of honor. I don't know wait, sister. Wait, wait, sister. My sister those shows. Honor guard. Okay, so that's probably what it was then. So I guess they wanted to let the um, Brandmore open the season, and now it's going to be Mikola who plays game two against San Jose. Is that what they're doing? Is that what they wanted to do here? Let me just double check. Uh, no, still not. Uh, what? Okay, let me make. Auto bullet rotate is turned on as it should be. We had just checked that. Let me check again. How can it be that you want to play the backup goalie? The game... And, hold on, let me save my uh, my anger. Auto goalie rotate. Turned on. How can you start the backup goalie in back-to-back -back games when auto rotate goalie is turned on? So sad. So sad. <sighs> okay. Let me a sip of water. My goodness. I want to see St. Louis. That's what I want to see. Who have we had uh, Stanley Cup Finals against? We've had them against the Islanders, the Bruins, and the Devils. Any of those teams coming up soon? Not really, eh? Let's just sim then. Let's just do a couple weeks of simulation. Let's get simming. 4-2 win. 5-2 win. On the road. 2-1 win. 8-3 win. That's a 5-0 start to start the season. At home against the Ducks. 5-1 win. Let's keep it rolling. 5-0 to start the year. Don't mean to make Chris start sweating yet, but just to say great start. Let's get, what's his name in here, Verkunin back in the lineup. Great start to the year, thank you very much. Hold on, let's back out. Um, yeah, they're a little they're a little slow at times. 5-4 uh, overtime loss. So first loss, first non-win, but we still haven't lost in regulation. 6-0-1. Oh, uh, at Madison Square Garden, win 3-2 in the shootout against the Rangers. In Carolina, there's our first loss. 7-4 loss against the Hurricanes. All right, 7-1-1. All right, on the road in Calgary, 7-6 loss. Back-to-back -back losses after all those wins. 3-2 win against the Sharks. We're 8-2-1. Uh, let's go see the Utah or the Salt Lake City Coyotes. I'm just kidding. 10-2 win! 3 nothing shutout, 7-2 win! What is going on? What a team we've built in San Francisco, ladies and gentlemen. What an offseason we had, and here we are. Um, they're not PS4 speed. That's, that, that's, that's for sure. That's for sure. As bad as they are, they're not PS4 speed. That is absolutely for certain. Let's get Colin, Nolan Collins back in. 
How's everybody doing over here? Lucic is looking good. Emelyn, Haikila. Come on, Haikila. Uh, Knights, four and eight. That's good from Knights. Let's get Knights on the first line, then. Let's do that. And uh, Haikila, Busenius. Busenius, Jason Busenius, the two-way four we got from the Devils. He's looking okay. Wall, Jalen Wall. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. I want to pause to look at the stats here, but the team is simulating so well, I don't know if I want to stop. Let's see the game against the Coyotes. Hold on. 11, 2, and 1. That's third... Hold on. 3, yes. Okay, game 15. Let's do it then. I think... Uh, how good is Pruka? I don't think he's that good. I'll check again in a moment. Uh, he needs, yeah, he might need to learn... Might need to learn. Brush up on the Cantonese, I guess. Or the Mandarin. Alright, so here we go against the Coyotes for game number 15 of the season on the road. First period, 1-0 Coyotes. It's Halpern on the power play. James Halpern. Second period, just kidding if you know he knows. 4-2 after a big period there. Kubalik shorthanded. Kang the Conqueror makes it a 2-1 game, but then McIntyre ties it up. Erickson with a rare goal, I would think. And then Cole Hudson. And Erickson, look at that, pinching down low. Then Cole Hudson, 8 seconds later. So he scored 3 times in the final 2.5 minutes. And we are now up 4-2, to two, heading into the third period. My goodness. Big lead here. For, well, not big, big period to give us the lead, I should say. Big period. 4-3 to three now. Clayton Keller makes it a one-goal game. 3-on-20 past Mikola. Not ideal. 4-4. Four, four, Dylan Gunther ties it up at 4 with 8 minutes to go now. We're out shooting the Coyotes by a good deal. Power play Coyotes killed off by San Francisco. Final two minutes of this one. And we will see overtime shots. And 38-27, to 27, game tied at 4, headed into overtime. Here we go. First few minutes of 4 and 4 action. Final minute. Nothing comes from it. Shootout! And Starfleet wins. McIntyre and Lindholm both score. And we come back to win this. Well, come back, but we hang on to win it as we, uh, we're up 4-2 and a tied 4-4. We win 5-4 in the shootout. Through 15 games, we are 12-2-1. and one. 25 points from the captain. We were thinking, do we trade Lindholm? But no, not yet. McIntyre, 22. Perfetti, 21. Fiala, 18. Lysel, point per game. Rubric, 13. Kubalik, 12. Axel Sandin, Palika with 9. Hudson with 9. Woo. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 point per game plus players right now. Oh my goodness. And not even that much on the power play either. Whoa. Whew, Panarin, 8 points as well. McIntyre, nearly goal per game at 14 and 15. To the moon. To the moon, Christopher. Maurice Sider, 7 points and a plus 17. Love to see that. Otto Stenberg with 7 points. Okay. What, uh, let me, I'm just curious. What kind of pace would that be? Otto Stenberg, his career high last year was 44 points. Uh, so 82 divided by 15 times 7. That's a 38-point pace. So we want to see a bit more from Stenberg, because uh, now we're giving him... Ah, actually, no, his ice time should increase over time, though. We're giving him more than last year. Kublik and Fiala both shooting above 20. Here we go, Starfleet, here we go. Uh, Ramirez even with 7. He's on pace for that, same as um, same as uh, Stenberg. He had 35, no, 18 plus 35 last year. Fantasy with 5. Erickson, Ludwig Erickson here in his rookie season. My goodness. Breland with 4. I love to see it. He's not playing much ice time, but it's better than like 6 or 7. He's at 8.50 per night. Owen Beck, only player without a goal, only forward. Romanov, 1 assist and a plus 9. Goaltending, Mikola, 9, 2, and 1. But look at Brindamore. 3 and 0 with a 9.25 save percentage, 1.94 goals against. Jet Greaves, I don't know if you're going to get in much over here, buddy. Mikola and Brindamore are looking great. A combined, like, what, 9, 10, 9, 15 save percentage? And, like, pfft, what, 2.5 goals against average? Wow. And just a quick peek at the special teams. How are we doing here? Special teams. See, the Blues? Ah, the Blues are hated rivals, the Blues. Uh, yeah, 12, 2, and 1 to be atop the league at the moment. Power play 20%. Small sample size, but it's not as great comparatively. Still good, but not as great comparatively. Pony, ooh, 69.7. Second worst in the league. Whoa. Again, small sample size, but... Middle of the pack is enough for me to say, let's wait and see. Second worst in the league is enough for me to say, let's make changes now. Okay. Uh, then Joe comes in with another $1.99. Small entry, but high excitement for the squad. Every entry is very much, very well received and very much appreciated, Joe. Joseph, thank you for that. Joseph adds another one to the pile. That gives another entry for Joseph. Thank you very much. And your generosity precedes you. 
And I always appreciate the go go in the comments as well. I know you're always dedicated to them. Two bad games are really deflating Mikla's numbers. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. So keep that in mind too, eh? Joseph, you're a gem, buddy. Thank you. So if we go to the penalty kill... Uh, maybe Lindholm comes off? What has he been doing shorthanded? What has he been doing shorthanded? He has a goal. Four ah, he has four shorthanded points. I'm going to keep Lindholm there. Maybe it's a bit too much for Ericsson. Maybe put him on the second. Um, or Romanov. Yeah, let's go Romanov and Cider. And then let's go Lindholm and... Yeah, the yeah, Avs fans have to stick together. Let's go Lindholm and Fiala. Second unit will go Hudson and Ericsson. Or should we? I don't know. Hudson, he's... Is he always... Should he be uh, so high short handed? He's a point. Okay, we'll go Hudson and uh, Ericsson with McIntyre and Kubelik plus two. And we'll keep the third... Maybe the third unit is worth struggling, actually, though. Let's go Kubelik third unit. Breland comes to the second unit. Let's try that. Okay. Uh, yeah, the rest can stay as is. All right, let's keep on simulating through, 12, uh, through 15 games. We're 12, 2, and 1. Let's get back to it. If we have nights like this every week, I can uh, I could stop my job and do this full time. Like I know that's far in the future, but just to say, if I were to get not just in one stream, but if I were to do three streams a week and get the numbers of in terms of donations that we got tonight, I could do this full time. And that's like a that would be a fun dream uh, uh, goal. Not even a goal. It's like a dream goal, not just a goal. It's a dream goal because I'm not expecting that to be something. But it, if that were to happen. Then I would seriously consider it. Just throwing it out there. Uh, nine, nine YouTube donos, one PayPal dono, ten donos, Android April. Let's go. Did that? Is that one? Did you just send another, uh, Joe? Is that why? Because one through PayPal? Hold on. Let me check. So I, I always got to check my email because it comes through my email. Um, okay, got it. Okay, well, okay. I'll, I'll, I, the only reason I said that is because I don't want to... I just want to make sure I don't miss it because it, it doesn't pop up on my screen. It pops up in my email. That's why I just want to make sure. No pressure. No pressure. And that gives you... I think you're at 14 entries, Joe. All right. So 6-2 win. 5-4 shootout loss. Uh, mild concussion for Alex Romanov. That's too bad. That's going to be Svozel coming into the lineup. He's not in for long. Not out for long. All right. All right, Narf. You let me know. You let me know. Uh, we're going to go Svozel. Svozel was good last season, right? Good. Yeah. Let me know. Second. Thank you, Dice. Second period starting, Sportsnet East. Let me open that up. 2-2 two -two between the Penguins and the Red Wings. Let me open that up on my Helix app. So, Svozo, last year, nine games, one goal. In the playoffs, two games, one assist. Hey. Uh, no, Slim. I was just saying the streams are perfect. Yeah, it has been. It has been. You're a madman, Joe. More, you know, more so in the, in, the, um, in the Google Sheet. That's more where you're the madman. All right. So, then a 4-2 win. Nice. Data Narf Incorporated. I'm, I'll sign on. All right, so not only is this a rivalry match with the Blues who eliminated us last season, this is the, these are the top two teams in the NHL going at it right now. We're 14-3-2, they're 15-5-1. We lost in six games as the number one seed to the 16-seed Blues last year, only to see them go on to lose to a team that went on to lose, went on to lose, went on to lose the Stanley Cup champion. So it was nice to be the, uh, the, the biggest losers in the league. Can this game open? Finally. Nadelkovic, what a tank out there. Okay, let's do it. We are trying to get revenge against them. If Slim sends a dono, I can do it. There you go. Did we face St. Louis before? Yeah, so we faced St. Louis two years ago and beat them in seven in round number two. But last year we lost in round number one. Time for dinner with the wife and baby. We'll finish the rest later. Go San Fran. Tyler, enjoy that time. Soak in every moment of it. Thank you for spending time with us. Now go do that, which is much more important. Thank you that. Thank you for your kind words and the donation that went such a long way. You were a big shining moment in tonight's stream. Thank you for that. So let's get it started, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do, and let me know what's on the menu as well, Tyler. Maybe I can drop by. Let's do it here against the Blues. Big game, not only for revenge of last season, but for top spot in the league, potentially, long term. First period opens up 1-0. It's Marcus Breeland. We're feeling the Breeland. 14-8 are the shots in San Francisco's favor, and we're up 1-0 after 20. Second period now, 1-0 it remains. Shots are 27-19 through 40 minutes, but it's only a slim one-goal margin here. But make it two from Ryan Rubrik. 2-0 San Francisco, big two-goal lead now. It's going a very long way in such an important game. 13 minutes to go, shots are 31-25 to in our favor. Now at the halfway point, Bree leaving the dream, yes! 
Yes, we live in the dream. Eh? Final three minutes up. Don't... Oh, Thomas spoils the shutout. Can we hang on tight to the minute to go? Yes, we can. So the shutout gets spoiled, but Mikola makes 34 saves on 35 shots. That's why he won the Vezina. Huge clutch performance. Rubric ends with the game winner. We got outshot in the end. We were leading by quite a bit, but we out, got outshot 35-34. But we hang on for the 2-1 victory. Mikola makes 34 saves and gets first star honors. And we win a huge, potentially President's Trophy deciding match. 2-1 the final. All right, let's get simulating another couple of weeks or so. Actually, no. Ramirez should be back. Uh, Romanov should be back for next game. Let's just, yeah, there you go. Ramon is back. Let's see here. Um, Svozel, how you doing, Svozel? One game, played 17 minutes, didn't do anything wrong. Great. We need those solid guys we can rely on. Uh, Romanov comes in. Yes. How's Palika doing, man? Six goals, six assists, 12 points in 20 games. One or, uh, no, it'd be negative one. No, no, no. Cider's the guy up there, always. Forever and always. You know, speaking of forever and always, Hobbsy, I thought of you today, actually. Channel 13, for all of you with XM Satellite Radio, not a sponsor, for anyone who has it, Channel 13 is now the Taylor Swift channel, and I was blasting it today for you, Hobbsy. Marchant has a mild concussion. He's going to be out for just about a week, so not a big deal. Uh, Lucas Raymond, Detroit's first 65-point scorer in an age 21 season or younger since, since Slava Kozlov. Wow. Um, okay, there we go. We'll do that. And we'll do that. There we go. Negative five on the third pair. Beautiful. Okay, switch back, switch back, switch back. There you go. 6-2 win. 5-1 five, one, one, five, one win. Keep it rolling. We should have Martian back in the AHL in a moment. Head coach replaced player there. Uh, good year for the draft. Funny you mention that. My mom told me last night. My sister has been blasting the car ever since she found it. Love it. Um, that's it. The league now is for uh, for balloon animals. Slim. So let's get back here. Martian is back. Okay, great. Uh, everybody healthy? Just Collins who's still out. Okay. And of course, switch back and forth with 12, 9, and 2 in the AHL. Switch, switch, switch. Okay, 3 2 win, then a 5 2 loss. Um, let's keep on going. How's Buffalo doing? Or maybe Calgary? For a Lindholm and Kubalik against their old teams here? Odell is healthy. Okay, good. Oh, Infants, I see, I see. They went down a bit. 5 3 win against Vegas, 5 2 loss against Los Angeles. No thank you, Winnipeg. We're 19 5 and 2. Continue for a second. In Vegas, 5-2 win. 3-2 win in Buffalo. We're 21-5-2. How are we doing here in the team leaders? 35 points in 28 games. So Lindholm slowed down at this point. But McIntyre leading the way with 23 goals in 28 games. Incredible. Ref took a puck there to the face. Ooh, poor guy. Okay. Let's go in the AHL. We want to make sure everyone's in the right spot here. So it's Collins who's coming back in. For Danielson there, I believe it was. Yeah, we'll revisit the team stats. Yes, we will. And um, Gen Z wants to see Pruka. Pruka, Pruka, Pruka. He is low elite, 25, 75 overall. So we, we should probably get him high in the lineup. Haikila has turned it around, though. Haikila, 23 points in 28 games. He's turned it around now. That's good to see. Um... 19 points from Knights. Sorry, 29 points in 28 games from Knights. Leafs King dropping the sub. Leafs King, welcome to the stream and welcome to the family. Welcome to the channel community. Feel free to join us in the Discord server. Over 600 in there. We're always talking franchise mode and sports and much more. We'd love to have you join there as well. But thank you for subscribing and joining the team here on the live stream. 31 points from Emlyn. And you know what? This first line is doing well. I'm going to keep the first line as is. Busan has a lot of penalties. And Marchant, 6 goals, 5 assists, 26 games. And how's the goaltender doing here? Good point. We'll put Pruka on first power play. Zherdev struggling a little bit. Pruka. Let's go Pruka instead of Suzuki. He's not even playing anywhere, huh? There you go. Pruka. He's, oh, that's why he's not playing. He's a grinder. Yeah, I'm not going to play him on the power play. I'll, play. I'll make sure he's playing first unit penalty kill, though. But I won't play him on the power play. Uh, unless, ah, uh, here gets a zero. Gets a zero here, but he's not. He's a grinder, right? Ah, why? Okay, why not? Keep him on the second unit power play. Okay, back to it now. Oh, sorry, no. Team stats, team stats. 
Okay. So we're second in the league. The Blues are just above us, but we have three games in hand. Power play 23.4%. Good, that's higher comparatively. And it's up 3.4%. Nah, 3 Pony kill, good. Up from 69 to 74. So that's good. Still not high enough, but it takes time. It's only been... We changed it, what? 13 games ago? Okay, so we're still... We were second worst, now we're third worst. But it has improved by 5%. No problem, Leaf King. No problem. Join us here on the channel. We're live with MLB The Show 24 every Tuesday evening and NHL 24 every Thursday evening, plus other live streams in between. We'll have the NHL 24 playoff simulation coming soon once we have all the spots finalized for the real world 2024 postseason, plus breakdowns and podcasts in the real world of hockey as well. There's a lot going on the channel. Feel free to check it out. Player simulations, career simulations. Take a second and check it out. If you're enjoying this, you'll enjoy all of that. So Elias Lindholm, the captain, playing against his old team. Same for Kubelik, who played there for a few years. First period, 2-1 Flames after 20. Dubé, who wouldn't be in the league anymore. And Breland ties it up. Then Dubois. Second period, 4-2. That's what we like to see. Stenberg, and then 2 from McIntyre on the power play. Thank you very much. 26-20. Make it rubric to have a 3-goal lead. Then Connor Zeri restore, cuts it back to 2 again. Big chance there for the Red Wings. That went wide. Uh, Hacken on the power play. Scores. How we sell on the power play? We kill it off. That's true. Ev Gascon from the Flyers series. NHL 22. Officially the first woman to play in the NHL. Gascon. No! Four unanswered! Three, Two on the power play. The Pony Kill struggling again. No, we got to make more changes to the penalty kill. This just solidified it for me in my mind. But McIntyre ties it late with 48 seconds to go! Oh, that's huge. Shots end 35-34 for the Flames. We're tied at six, headed to overtime. Four unanswered goals until the Professor gets one with 48 seconds left. Overtime now into the... And it's the Starfleet officers who take it. The Professor ties the game and then wins it in overtime. Was that a hat-trick goal for him as well? It was his fourth! <laughs> the Professor got the hat-trick goal to tie it up and then the fourth to win it in overtime. Class is in session. Avery McIntyre and Cole Hudson with three assists as well. What a game. Huge comeback victory. But I'm not happy that it had to go to overtime. Whoo, boy. Cool. Least King, we're live. We're doing a Montreal Expo series. Re uh, relocating, re-relocating the Nationals. That's every Tuesday at 7. We'll bring Suzuki back up. Wow. Avery McIntyre. Oh, cry harder, Slim. We're going to fix it. I just said we have, we have things to fix. We won! This guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, first shutout is my... Uh, Ev Gascon's surprise first shutout is in my top 10 data reactions for me. That was a crazy moment. That was a really fun episode in our Flyers series. Uh, hello, Data. I need to catch up, but Frozen 4 got my way. No problem. Doggy, you're going to be disgusted by the amount of donos who are passing you tonight. <laughs> okay, so first things first... I don't want to see how many goals McIntyre has. We're at uh, 27 goals in 29 games. Yeah, our goaltending has been great most of the season. Mikola still looking well enough. He's been playing a lot. Um, penalty kill. Penalty kill. Let me Fiala needs to come off. Fiala. Top 25. I need a sports center top 10 of my own. Maybe Fiala comes out. Maybe Breland comes over. Doesn't look impressive on paper, but with the 90 shot block and the 94 stick checking, that could really be valuable. Let's go crazy. Let's try Breland. We're, we're at that point. Say hello and don't, no problem. No problem, doggy. Thanks for the love. Let's go crazy with Breland on the first unit. Um... Maybe McIntyre... Does McIntyre have shorthand goals this year? Uh, no shorthand goals, eh? Hooked on a Breland. Up to you, doggy. No pressure. Up to you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say Lindholm second unit. And Fiala's going to go to the third unit. With Kubli coming in the second unit. Let's put Ramirez with Cider. Let's mix it up a little bit. Ramirez with Cider. Uh... Hudson with Romanov. And Erickson with Pelika. Beck and Fiala, third unit. Let's try that. Okay, we'll go from there. Just to mix things up a little bit. 
Ludwig, our good friend Ludwig, plus 18. What a beast here in his rookie season. Okay, so we'll go like that for now. We'll go like that for now. 2-2 two -two between the Penguins and the Red Wings with 13-15 to go in the second period. Shots 14-10 to for the Red Wings, by the way. So McIntyre leading the way with 39 points. Okay, let's get back into the calendar. Uh, let's go see our good friends, the Penguins, maybe? Or no, Breland's old team, the Stars. Let's go see them in Dallas. And that's Dallas, as Kevin Malone says. There we go. Decline that. Okay. 6-4 win. 5-4 loss. 5-0 shutout victory. 5-4 win against the Minnesota Wild. On the road in Pittsburgh. 2-1 shootout win. We're 26-6-2. Facing the 2014-3 Dallas Stars. This is going to be a tough one here. Breland against his old team. Here we go in Texas. First period. 1-0. Artemi Panarin on the power play. Shots 20-6 through 20 minutes. A shot per minute. Second period, 3-0. Maurice Sider and Igor Afanasyev. 3-0 Starfleet. And uh, Habs are up 1-0 over the Isles. Beautiful. And that's, that's what the Penguins need, eh? That's what the Penguins need. 3-0 Starfleet. Greg, uh, former Starfleet officer Ridley Greg breaks the shutout on the power play. There's another penalty uh, power uh, penalty killing uh, mis, uh, misplay, I suppose. We're up by 2 with 5 to go. Power play. And the Penguins score! Sidney Crosby! You cannot stop Sidney Crosby, baby! Ah, oh, Sid King. Sidner! The most complete player in hockey. As voted by his peers. And then Doggy! Perfect timing with the 999! I don't need my creative player. I don't need it. I need it! That's Spongebob mean. Spongebob meme. You said it before I could say it. Spongebob suffocating without water in case you didn't know. Hey! I knew it before you even said it. Great pass by... Ooh! Brian Russ threading the needle to Sid. Sidner. They don't make him. They don't make him anymore like Sid. 3-1 win. Starfleet takes it in Dallas. Oh, come on. As if Crosby didn't play against hard players. Crosby's in the soft era. If he was in the 90s, he'd be a 36-point player. Sob into your pillow, buddy. Mikola with 31 saves. And that'll be another win for the Starfleet officers. Great, your culture. Another reason I like that. <laughs> Thanks, doggy. Let me add uh, two entries for you there. Two entries would. Yeah, he'd be a, he'd score 36 points a season if it was 1997. But in 2006, he'll score 100 points. But in 1997, he would have scored 36. Of course he would have. You are delusional! Let me go. Doggy. Two more entries for doggy. There we go. Uh, I'm putting this on times two speed and catch up. Perfect. Every EA grinder wishes that they were Crosby. <laughs> and here comes the yelling again. Yeah, of course. All right, let's keep on going. Where are we now? We're at 35 games. So 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, then 41. So we'll stop after game 41 against the Wild. Spread of day is enjoyable. Yeah, Joe knows through the, going through the Canadian series, right? No problem, doggy. Marchant injured again. Uh, he might have to be traded soon. Marchant, he has, to, he has to really pick it up if he's going to stick on this team. Uh, wall. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's exactly how your voice sounds, Slim. Ryan Strom on waivers. What?! One year at 8.675 million. Um, no thank you. <laughs> okay, so what happens since then? Yeah, that's true. That's true. We gotta give them some time a little bit. We're what? We're 21, 14, and 3 in the AHL. Okay, so let's see. 3 1 win after that. 6 3 win, 4 1 win, 3 2 overtime loss, then a 2 1 loss. Um, we gotta keep going a little bit more. One of these days. Yeah, it's coming, Joe. We're at 39, so 40, 41. Yeah, I counted it right there. Perfect. Uh, no, thank you, Winnipeg. Uh, oh, no! not Okay, thankfully not for long. Woo! McIntyre, sore shoulder. Out for a couple of weeks there. Woo! Uh, yeah, we'll check that by the trade deadline. Okay, so that means... Fiala will come to the top line. Panarin will move up. And Breland will move up. And then uh, Yannick will come to the third line, uh, fourth line, excuse me. 
And there you go. If we have a Bruins game, can we watch? Sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, Christopher. Anything for you, buddy. Uh, but back in time for my birthday, he knows perfect. That's true. I remember you saying that, Joe. January 18th, right? Is that what you had said? January 18th. Good day. Um, and we'll keep everything else as is. Mikola up to a 9-12 save percentage now. Improving. Nice. So, Avery McIntyre for, for a bit. This is going to be... Oh, 20th. Okay, my apologies. So, Breland moves up. Panarin moves up. Fiala moves out. Good opportunities for everybody in the lineup here. Uh, Martin fully healed. Down the 19th. Oof, there you go. Lieutenant DeSora's around there as well. Even my sister. Uh, Marchant. Back in. There you go. Mar I'm going to bump the ice time here for Marchant. Uh, Nestrom's gonna go there. Halton gonna come out. Martian's gonna go first into power play. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Cam. A little extra ice time for Cammy boy. Uh, there, okay. So 4 3 shootout win and 5 3 win. So at the halfway point, we're on pace to go 62 14 and 6. We're 31 7 and 3. On pace to go 62 14 and 6. Which would by far be a franchise record. Oh my goodness. 40 goals in 40 games. 40 and 40. 40 in 40 for Avery McIntyre. Write it down, ladies and gentlemen. 40 in 40. <laughs> Let's look at the team first. Let's look at the team first. Hold our horses here. How do we look here in the entire NHL? St. Louis still above us. Three games in hand, but still above us. Um... <laughs> Tell me about it, uh, Dice. Okay, all right, so goals for per game, leading the league. Goals against per game, uh, second low Lotus, very good. Power play now, 27%, uh, that's second in the league. Um, yeah. Only you could cry about a player scoring 40 goals in 40 games, Slim. We're second in the league in the power play at 27%. Penalty kill, 75, still slowly going up. But at this point in the season, it should be much higher. So I think we've made little tweaks. It's time to overhaul it, I think. Ooh, Penguins power play coming up. So yeah, penalty kill at 75. It's gone up, but yeah, not good enough. So we're going to make some. We're gonna keep making changes to the penalty kill. Now, here we go. Oh, uh, Sherratt. What are you doing, Sherratt? Don't touch Sid. Don't touch Sid like that. He's bear hugging him on the ground and ripped his helmet off. Come on. That's why we're off to the box. That's where Sid's going to take advantage. Oh, but you know what, though? Actually, I'll be fair. Sid, like, grabbed his leg and, like, did a wrestler th throw down. Okay, so they both went to the box. Okay, makes sense. I, I take it back. Four on four. Okay, so we currently have two point-per-game-plus players. Only two instead of, like, five. But many players who are hovering around that area. McIntyre with 56 and 40 with a goal per game. Lindholm, 49 and 41. Last season, he scored, what, uh, 88. He's, got, he's on pace to break 100. Uh, Fabian Lysel, 38 and 41. Second in team scoring. Ridiculous. Kevin Fiala, 36. Perfetti, 36. Hudson, 35. On pace for 70 points. That's big. Panarin, 32. On pace for 64 with limited ice time, which is what we love to see. Um, uh, my brother just messaged me about Crosby. Uh, Rubric. Okay, so Rubric's on pace for 56. That's not bad. It's not bad, but I would love to see more. It's not bad. He's 22. I'm not... It's not bad. It's not bad. Stenberg is on pace as well for 52. Not bad. Rubric 56, Stenberg 52. No, sorry. Uh, 54 for Stenberg. My apologies. Um, yeah. I see that. Yeah. Uh, Axel Sandin Palika. Whoa, on pace for 50 points. I'm glad we didn't trade him yet. Axel Sandin Palika with a great year so far. Kubelik 21 on pace for 42 points. Exactly what I'd want to see from a guy on the third line. No problem. Moritz Sider, 17 points, plus 23. Didn't he have, like, 17 points last season? No, 24. He's on pace for 32. Gotcha. Uh, Afanasev with 16. Breland with 12 points. Love it. Ramirez, 11. Romanov, 11. And Beck, 11. Eriksson, even. 9 points, plus 18. Uh, okay. Now, goaltending. Let's see so far. Mikula, 26, 6, and 3 with two shutouts. Brindamore, in his first three games, he was great. His next three games, no, not so great. I think Matthews will hit 70. I didn't think so maybe a week or two ago, but I think they're really going to try every empty net goal. They're going to try to put the puck on a stick every chance they can. I think Matthews will hit 70 probably. 
Uh, so yeah, so Mikola 16, 26, 6, and 3. Yeah, things are getting very chippy in this game. It's Oh, whoa! That's definitely, that should have been a penalty on Latang. This is a playoff game. I got, would I be copyright if I turn the volume up? I don't want to any copyright here. It's 4 and 4. I, should, I don't know if, I, I've done it in the past without any issues, I think. So Brandon Moore, 5 and 1, but the, the, he's still at 2.8 goals against average, but the save percentage dropped below 900 at 886 now. Okay, looking at the entire league at this point as well. How's the, how are things looking here in the whole? Uh, Mikola most wins. Ma McKinnon with 65 points. Uh, Miroshnichenko, 57. Even just the audio nerf without the video? Good to know. Uh, Cutter Goatsey, there he is, 51. In Philadelphia, in the different universe. Uh, Philip Roberts with 22 to lead rookie scorers. First overall pick. If they know you do it, okay. So I, I'm not. Uh, I don't think I don't need to. I don't need to ask it. I don't need to. We don't need to push for that. Yeah, weird discrepancy between save percentage and goals against average. Maybe we give him a little bit of uh, a break and give um, Greaves a few backup opportunities. Okay, so here's what we're doing at the halfway point. No trades yet, but goaltenders. Let's swap out Greaves for. Uh, let's bring in Greaves. Let him play a little bit, a bet, again. Say it ain't so, I will not go. Turn the lights off. Mirchenchenko. Don't want to get copywritten for that. Penalty kill. Penalty kill. Woo, why is Yannick here? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is Yannick here? Who's he replacing? Oh, Avery McIntyre, that's why. Okay, oh, well, that's why. Um, there's only one game, thankfully. Okay. Um, Lindholm didn't do well there, though. So Perfetti's going to come. Perfetti hasn't played any penalty kill. So Perfetti's coming penalty kill now. Perfetti's going to play penalty kill. Uh, we're not signing... We have three goalies. We're not signing a goalie, a 77 overall goalie in free agency. Perfetti's going to play first unit. I'm going to keep Ramirez and Cider. But we're going to go... Sorting by defense here. Defensive attributes. Sorting by those. Um... Rubric has five star defense, really? But it's the defensive awareness that bumps it up. I'm not signing. We're not signing a fourth goalie, Slim. Who do we have? To, then we have to put someone through waivers. Panarin, same thing. I want someone who can also do shot blocking if necessary. Eh. Uh, but let's try Rubric then. Let's give Rubric his ice time. Let's do it. Perfetti and Rubric, the two Canadians, the only place where they can play together. Perfetti and Rubric on the first unit. We're pretty desperate at this point. Perfetti and Rubric on the first unit. We have three goalies in the minors as, as well. We have six goalies in our system, Slim. Lindholm and Kubalik have to get broken up, I suppose. So, I don't know. You would think... You know what? Lindholm and Kubalik can stay. I'm going to put Hudson on the third pair and say he's the guy that moves. Eriksson and Romanov can be the defense on the second unit. Third unit, Hudson and Sandin Palika, two offensive defensemen. But we're going to take out Owen Beck, I think, and put uh, Otto Stenberg. That just have a better player in terms of overall. My favorite OHL team? Uh, I can't say I really have one. Maybe the QMJHL. I, I'm, in, I'm from Montreal, so. But o favorite OHL team? I don't like any one more than another, I don't think. I can't really say that I like one more than another. So Otto Stenberg and Kevin Fiala, let's try them. Let's try mixing things up like that. Okay. Should we start scouting penalty kill specialists? You know what? That's a good point there, Christopher. Uh, Ramuski. Yeah, I don't mind Ramuski. Uh, Les, Gatsno, Les Olympiques de Gatsino. Uh, the Huskies as well. Royun... Roy oh, I can't even pronounce it. I'm, just, I'm not going to try. The Huskies. Sault Ste. Marie guy. <laughs> Crosby has tied Esposito for 10th all-time in scoring. Get out. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So those are the changes we'll make. Backup goalie coming... Uh, backup goalie swap. Plus penalty kill unit changes. We'll go from there. McIntyre's still out for another week or so. Let's do it here. We're on pace to go 62, 14, and, and 6. Let's start the second half of the year here in Buffalo. 
Let's do it. First period, sitting on nine, oh, one more assist for a thousand. Rubric opens it up uh, with an even strength goal. Love it. Second period, 2-2 two, two game. Go Knights, go. All right, there you go. Some Knights fans in there. Panarin on the power play, but then Dalin gets one on the power play, and Jack Quinn ties it up. Shots are 22-21, and Brian Russ makes it 4-2 in Pittsburgh. Let's go. Canadians are up. Penguins are up. Very good news for Pittsburgh. Very. Is that on? Oh, Crosby get that one? Hold on. Did you get a thousandth assist there? Did Crosby get a uh, not on thing? Hold on. Oh, what a... St who did that? Was that Riley Smith? Someone with a great stick lift. Oh, there was a trip. Uncall. Oh, missed call. Missed call. I got, I got to be honest. That was a big missed call. Red Wings player gets tripped. Smith comes in, lifts a player's stick, gets the puck, gives it to Rust's goal. Yeesh. I love it for the Penguins, but if I'm a Red Wings fan, I'm furious about that. Shots are 22-21, power play Buffalo. There we go, we kill it off. Power play, and then we score Kevin Fiala on the power play. And Fiala even strength four seconds later. Then Tage Thompson makes a one-goal game, but Cole Perfetti restores the two-goal lead. Four goals in the first five, five and a half minutes there. Five, four minutes and uh, 20, five minutes and 26 seconds. Final five minutes to go, we're up by two, but Benson makes it a one-goal game. 5-4 San Francisco with two minutes to go. Final minute. We hang on tight for the win. Shots end tied at 33. But we take the 4 out of the 5-4 victory. Yeah, missed call there. Fiala, two goals and an assist. Perfetti, a goal and two assists. Love it. Fiala loves that top line. We just have so many top line players, it's hard to find spots for all of them. Okay, let's get back to the calendar. Calendar sim. Uh, who do we want to go see? Florida's a good team. Yeah, let's go see Florida. Let me get a sip here. Excuse me. Knights for two-fourths. Yeah, I might come down to that. Otto Stenbrink, mild concussion. He's out for like one day. Uh, I'm not calling up a player for one day. It's going to make incredible amounts of headaches. So Sposal's going to play fourth line for one game. Uh, I guess two games. <laughs> uh, for a Come on. <laughs> did that hurt us? Let's see. Did, did that hurt us? Nationalities are good right now. Yeah, too bad you can't go 11 forward 7D. Sposal negative one. <laughs> Stenberg should be playable now. Yeah, playable injury. All right, so Stenberg's going to come back now. Q. I'll wait till McIntyre's fully healthy, though. Stenberg comes back. He'll get his third line spot back. So we currently have uh, Swede, Canadian, Swiss, Canadian, Swede, uh, Russian, Latvian, Swede, Czech, Czech, Canadian, Russian. Yeah, yeah, it's a makeup call, but that's a call. That's a that's boarding on Larkin, I think, eh? Then on defense, it's American, German, Swede, American, Swede, Russian. Those are the nationalities right now for us. Okay, so Stenberg's back in. Uh, let's see through this one against the Canadians. Uh, the Ducks have fired their head coach here. Uh, and Adel Stenberg fully healthy, good. In Montreal, 5-1 loss. But pff, make a couple changes and there we go. Hold on a second. Hold on. We need to get uh, Avery back in here. Greaves. Oh, so, so. Uh, yeah, so a couple of, not just losses, but we've only scored two goals in two games. Can't be that we take Mac McIntyre out of the lineup, and there we go. Come on. McIntyre should be back after next game, or by next game. McIntyre fully out. Yeah, let's get him back in ASAP. We definitely want him in ASAP. Uh, so, Lysel, big playmaking. Mr. Playmaker. I would love to move Lysel down and playmake for Rubric or something. If you want an NHL team, what city would it be? Um, good question. Salt Lake City would probably be a good one, which is why they're getting one. I don't know. Saskatoon? I could see Saskatoon, maybe. Just throwing it out there. Yeah, remember the days when we had too many US players? The good old days. So yeah, Rubric, what's he up to again? Rubric, 20 goals, 11 assists. 
Panarin's doing great playmaking, but Lysel's like a pure playmaker. Kansas City could be a good one, too. So what if Lysel comes down? Lindholm goes... Up. Breland's gonna go down. Maybe even Wisconsin, I could see that. Angel, yeah, there's a lot of good places. Halifax. Houston, I'm not sure if that's first on the priority since they have, um... Since they have, what's his name? What's <laughs> the stars, I mean. What's the name? What's their names? The stars. Uh, so McIntyre's gonna go... For, yeah, he's gotta play first time with Fiala. And with Perfetti, but if Fiala could go... Nah, I'm, I'm playing, I'm thinking too much. Quebec's not gonna get it. It's the politics, the language, the taxes, it's not gonna happen. So maybe it should stay like this, actually. Yeah, it probably should stay like this. Yeah, I won't uh, force something. Lines are fine there like that. Or is it over the Honolulu Huskies? Maybe, eh? Get Honolulu back. We suffered three consecutive losses for the first time all season. Yikes. Okay, on the road here against the Blackhawks. Okay, we break it with a 5-2 win. And one more before we get the Panthers. And it's a 5-2 win again. Alright, 34-11-4 is our record. Facing the 29-16-3 Panthers. Very good team. Here we go. In Florida. Sunrise, Florida. Yeah, the Tucson's gonna get a team. They will. I'm just saying if, if I if the question is can I choose, then it might be different. Man, things are getting very chippy in this game. <sighs> Who's getting triple someone's getting triple team behind the net here on the Penguins? San Francisco, yeah, easy answer. All right, first period, 2-1 Panthers. Kachuk and Lundell. Perfetti adds a power play goal for us on Ananen. Second period, 3-1 Barkov. Shots are 21-19 for the Panthers. We're down by two here in the third. Early power play opportunity killed off by Florida. But then Cole Perfetti gets his second, and we're now only down by one, but Forsling restores the two-goal lead. 12 minutes to go. We're out shooting. Power play chance again here. Killed off once more by the Panthers. Seven minutes to go when we're still down by two. Cole Perfetti, the only goal scorer for us here. Three minutes left. Final two minutes. And the Panthers will win this one. Despite us out shooting them 35 to 28. We lose four to two. Ah, come on now. Four of our last five games have been losses? Is that? No. Four of our last six games. We've lost four of our last six. What's going on now? The lines are still what they are. Oh, big game against the Blues in a couple of weeks. We'll go see them. All right, three nothing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Three nothing loss and a five two loss. Then thankfully we win in overtime against the the Kings. If we lose against the Flyers, yeah, okay, time for changes. Four two loss. What happened? What happened? Where did it go wrong? Hold on. What's going on here? Look at the bigger picture. What happened? What's in the plus minus? Lysel in the plus minus on the first line, maybe? That top six plus minus? Palika negative eight. Whoa! Axel sending Palika negative eight. Hold on. Beck negative six. Yannick negative four. Come on. Goalies. Not the goalies. Oh, let's make some changes here. Maybe Ludwig Eriksson gets a chance to see um, Brian Avalanche versus Oilers. You're saying that's in the real world right now? I'm not sure, but I'm not keeping track of all the games right now. We're watching Red Wings pa Penguins at the moment. So, hold on. Lysel's coming down. Lindholm's going up. Now... Perfetti's going down. Rubrik's coming up. That's what we're going to do. Lysel, Perfetti, Fiala, Lindholm, McIntyre, Rubrik in the top six. On defense, Erickson's coming up. Palika's going down. That's, that's that. plus 15. This is zero, negative eight, plus 17. Yeah, they need some support there. There we go. All right, so we're going to make some changes there on defense. We should be good to go from there. Now, how about the special teams? I'm not expecting big changes, but has it gone higher or lower than 75% on the penalty kill? In the last... How many games has there been since the halfway point? In the last... So we stopped at 41. So in the last 13 games... In the last 13 games, our penalty kill has increased. Okay. Okay. We'll keep it like that then for now. We'll keep it like that. Um, and we want to see the, go see the game against the uh, um, Blues. 
Uh, 6-2 win. There we go. 6-2 win with the line changes. We're 36-15-4, facing the 36-17-2 Blues. We're both 4-6-0 in our last 10, so thank goodness we've had a chance. The Blues haven't run away with it. We have a chance to tie, tie ourselves up with them. This would be a huge three points over them. In this series, if you didn't know, wins, regulation wins. Regulation wins are worth three points. Here we go. First period, first shot, it's Rubric, and it ends 2-0 Panarin on the power play. 2-0 after 20. Second period, 3-3. Three, three. Basha and Beauvillier tie it up. Fiala restores the lead, but then Paraskak, Paraskak, can never get that right, ties it at three. Shots are 22-19, and we're all tied at three, headed into the third period. This next 20 minutes might decide the President's Trophy. Who knows? Here we go. Power play St. Louis. It's a big penalty kill from San Francisco. Halfway through the third period. Next one might be the winner. It's a tight one here with about five to go. Do we have a hero in the final three minutes of this one? Will we see overtime? Final minute! And we will see overtime. Yes, McIntyre did win the Rocket in his second season. He won the Calder in year two. Oh no, in year three. And then the Rocket in year four in his second year. Yeah. All right, let's go in and see this one. This is a huge game, so let's go in and see it. San Fran versus St. Louis. Uh, there we go. What do you think is the best hockey jersey of all time? Anaheim Mighty Ducks, baby. Love those jerseys. From just like a personal, like, just like my love of of of, of hockey. It's the Canadians as a Canadians fan, but just objectively, it's the Mighty Ducks. Here at, not Enterprise Arena, but Enterprise Center in St. Louis. Last time we were here, or at least in the playoffs, we lost in game six. Check it in front. Oh, 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 sprawling across the crease is Mikola. Stretching like a changeling. Call him Odo. Stretching like a changeling to make that save. Let's see it again. I thought the game was over. Oh my goodness. Yuha Mikola. Ooh. Let's see this one again. Here comes, who is this? Chikrin. And he, yeah, he won the Conn Smythe as well that year. Chikrin coming in. Hudson's committing to him. He finds a way to pass through. I don't know why Perfetti doesn't feel like diving or uh, McIntyre. No, just let it go. And on the doorstep, right, Kairu. Oh, ho, ho. let's see this one again. Right. Oh, wow. The kick with the toe. Wow. All right, yeah, Kako leading the league in, lead in hits. We saw a former Starfleet officer. Huge save. Now let's not let it go to waste. Defensive zone draw for Perfetti. Perfetti loses that one to Thomas. Chicken one timer. Perfetti. I'm sorry, not Perfetti. I'm saying Mikola. Hudson clears it out. Another huge save from Mikola. Wow. All right, here comes McIntyre with some speed. His body passes through the ref. McIntyre can't get it through. My goodness. Passes through like a hologram. Petrie makes it 4-3 as the Red Wings get that one. Thomas, two on one. And that's going to be a Mikul into the glove there. Yeah, don't worry. Slim's not known for positivity. Don't worry. A lot of space here for Cole Hudson. Cole skating through. Can't get the shot off, though. Chicken by the net. Gets poked. Hudson with it. Look in front. Gets stuck in Kairu's skates. Petrie making it a one-goal game in the real world. Two on one here. Chikrin, that's broken up. Well done. Lindholm up to Moritz Sider. Here comes our chief of security, Moritz Sider, with Lindholm, the captain, looking to end it in overtime again. Not yet. One-timer. Lindholm again. No. Here's Jimmy Snuggeru now. Snuggeru coming in up against Sider. Gets a shot off. And Nikola. Woo! Okay, that's going to be steered away to the corner. Sider up to Panarin. Panarin to Lindholm. Here's the captain with some space. Captain Lindholm can put it on net. Behind the net now. It's going to be Snugger who comes out. Double teamed in the corner. Bold zip. Uh, all right. -handed. All right handed. That's true. All right handed. That's true. Good uh, observation. Bold zip. Windmill over there. In front. Another one on the doorstep. And the redirection saved by Mikola. Whew. My goodness. End of the second period. It is 4 3 Penguins after 40. Go ahead and close that now. Save some battery. Thank you, Dice. Stenberg on the draw here. Leave a like if you haven't already for some good luck. Big face-off win. Sandine Palika off the boards up to Fiala now. Fiala gets through. Okay, Palika now with it. Looking for options. Gets away from his man, but now gets fourth pinned. Kicks it in. At least he does that. Retrieving it is Fiala. Stenberg down behind the net to Fiala. Stenberg in front. Great set play there. That stopped. 
Snuggaroo gets hit, but now he's going to break away for Slavin. The defenseman on the breakaway. Slavin can't get the shot away because it is uh, redir not redirected. It just um, ricochets off of the defenseman there, I believe. Off the, I don't know if it was the stick or the leg, but someone on the Starfleet got a piece of that one. Great. Fiala now. Only Slim will cry where's the defense on three on three overtime or breakaways on both sides. Camesso's going to hang on for that one. We should just have a triangle on defense and allow them to just keep barraging the net until we maybe get a lucky shot from our opposite blue line that goes in, right? <sighs> Cry us a river. Cry us a river. No one cares. <laughs> No, it's Axel Sandin is his first name and Kalika is his last name. That's what it is. Which name? It's across to Ho oh, uh, to steal. That stopped. Uh, no, and here's a big. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Clearance of some sort that made it all the way down the ice. Steel. Oh my goodness! Still made it through. I was reading the comments. Still made it through. His man. Oh, what a goal by Sam Steele! Oh my goodness! Whoa, what a goal! You gotta give it to him, but that hurts. What a goal! Who was made to look like a cone there? Shots end 38 37, we lose in overtime. Uh, sorry. Steel gets it here. So he uh, evades the hit from McIntyre, which is more like a push. And then, okay, he didn't really make a deke. It was just, it was just, what's his name here? It was Cider, just our chief of security. Look at Cider, look what he does. Just skates to him and then tries to poke. What are you doing? Oh man, this game. And then all alone, nice little backhand tuck. What a joke. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The animation clipping is something. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's get back to the calendar now. Back to the calendar. Getting closer to the trade deadline. Let's go see uh, Florida again, maybe. No, I already saw them. I think might be a little behind Leafs, eh? Leafs King? I think Leafs King might be a little behind the stream. You might be. Uh, no, let's continue for a little bit. 4-3 overtime win against the Ducks. 5-4 shootout win against the Canadians. 5-2 win. 5-2 win. Finally. 7-3 win. Let's go. Finally. Uh, Suzuki strained hamstring. Head coach replace. Against the Panthers. Fiala injured neck. Out for a couple weeks or so. Huh? Okay, so Panarin's going to come up. Now it's all playmakers on this line, though, eh? It's a heavy playmaking line. Do we want to bring someone down? No, it's because Gen Z, I wanted and Jared to get some starts. That's why I didn't put him back yet. And just, wow, what a coincidence, Leafs King. Just got Sam Steele in the, in the, in the hockey cards. Wow. So let's bring down. Let's let's reunite the first line. Let's go Panarin, McIntyre, Lindholm, and we'll do. Perfetti can't stay there though, so we'll do. Yeah, we'll do Panarin, McIntyre. Perf, no, Perfetti, per, Mac, per, Panarin, Perfetti, McIntyre, and we'll do Rubric, Lindholm, Kubalik. Let's say just for a bit of time while um, while Fiala's injured. Lysel can go down. Play, play, uh, playmake with Breland. Why can't I speak? Playmake with Breland. And then Yannick comes in on the fourth line. Okay. Uh, down in the AHL. Oh, you are? No, I think you're a little bit behind the Leafs King. Because you're saying... Like, right now I'm looking at the power play lines. And and then you just... Your comment just popped up for me. Um, four on four power play. So we'll go... Kubalik, why not? A little bit of ice time there. So in the AHL, yeah, I want, I want Jared to get some starts. That's why I kept him there. Jared, ish. Not great numbers, but I want him to get some starts. Rubric, Perfetti, Mac. No, we can't do that, though. I changed it. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it there. I'll keep it like that for a little bit longer, but then we'll get Eamon back in. Eamon's been good. He has no reason to stay out, so I want him to get back in. 
yeah, he's, actually, he's been very good. And he has high starter, 74. Yeah, you know what? It's not just a random spot holder. He's actually someone we want to get growth from, too. So Imanin should come back. Yeah. Let's check the age. Ooh, Busenius with 130 penalty minutes. What? Why? A 2A forward with 85 discipline. A, why do you have that many penalty minutes? All right. 4-3 uh, win against the Panthers. Let's go see the, Dal the uh, Vancouver game. Why not? As someone had mentioned that. 3-2 win against Dallas. Have to head out. We'll watch the conclusion later. Thanks for all you do, Dave. Narf. Thank you. Thank you, Narf. Everyone, big love in the chat. Thumbs up, hearts, and the claps for Narf in the chat. Have yourself a lovely evening, my friend. Thank you for everything, as always. Breland's, he's fourth line, but he's playing third right now with Fiala injured. Here we go against Vancouver. First period, 1-0 Canucks. It's Berkeley Catton on Vancouver in this universe. There you go, Joe. Second period, 1-0 it remains. Shots are 21-12 to in our favor, but we're down 1-0. Yeah. Uh, closing on the two-hour mark. Yeah, uh, Trevor Moore, former Starfleet officer, former Starfleet legend, Trevor Moore, then Kevin LeBanc, 3 nothing. Jet Greaves. I'm going to have to put Brenda Moore back in, I think. Jet Greaves. We're down 3 nothing, but we have no goals and 25 shots. Power play opportunity killed off by Vancouver. That's also our fault. Uh, okay, there you go. So we, lo we lose 3 nothing. There you go. We lose 3 nothing. 25 safe shutout for what, whoever was in the nets there. Okay, not good. Let's go ahead and get Greaves out of there for a little bit, though. Greaves is going to take a little breather. Did the Roadrunners stay in Tucson? Uh, the, the Roadrunners probably stay, but will they still have AHL affiliation to them? Depends. Some teams will go to different leagues, and they can still exist but not be affiliated. Will the Roadrunners still be affiliated to Tucson? I'm not sure. That hasn't been a relocation in the NHL since when. Oh they, may, oh, they may move to Mullet Arena. That's an idea. Greaves, 911 save percentage. Bah. Brindamore. Yeah, 886, but he had a good first three games. So let's try and get Brindamore. And Mikula's up to a 90 overall now. That's great news. Mikula up to a 90 overall. Okay. Kubalik's enjoying life. Good. Um, game against Tampa. Yeah, so one more game against Tampa, then we'll stop before... Oh, and Fiala's back to full health. Good. So those line changes weren't for much. So Panarin's going to go back here. Whoa, 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 hold on. Panarin goes back here. Breland, what's up? Did he hit 10 goals yet? Close, not yet. Yeah, we'll take a look at extensions, sure. Yannick has one goal and negative five in nine games. Yeah, and Yannick, come on, buddy. Fiala's gonna go... Kublik's gonna go there. We could keep the lines like this. Yeah. Okay, let's try it like this. Let's try keeping the lines like this. Fiala's been a beast, though. And that's a lot of goal... Oh, well, Lindholm's the playmaker. Okay, it's like we have two playmakers here. Good night, Leaves King. Thanks for being here. Appreciate the love. Yeah, and we'll keep it like that for now. It's tough with the nationalities. Okay, so a few things we want to check out now here at the deadline, at the trade deadline. By selling who? Last game here against Tampa, and we have a 3-1 loss. Lovely. Contracts. So extensions now. Extensions, all expiring. So Panarin, will weigh on him, absolutely. Those three playmakers in the top six are going to have to have a line with two. Yeah, that's fair enough. So yeah, Panarin, we can wait on him. We'll get him back for whatever, one year, six million next year probably. Otto Stenberg wants two by 3.7. We could do one year, but no rush. He's an RFA. Same for Beck. You know, there's nothing really to do in uh, extensions here. Except for Mikola. But he's also an RFA. We can wait on him. I think it's to make the most sense with a high elite goalie. And a, and a, who's an RFA, no matter who they are, the sad reality is we're just going to have to qualify and get them for as cheap as possible in July. I think we had said we had an idea. We could have extended them at the beginning of the episode probably for cheaper, but, you know, I, I that was I recall no one had said in their comments, I don't think, unless maybe Cheating Heel did, but I forgot to, to do that. So we'll just have to wait. He's too good now to send out. I'm not giving him $15 million or whatever. So we'll have to wait on him. Yeah, progress reports. Absolutely. Let's check that out. Come on. There you go. Menus. 
progress reports. How are we doing in the growth? In the system, Yelonen, Cam Beats. There's Cam Beats as a coach and Cam Beats as a player. So there you go, a little narcissism. Vitaly Brzgalov. Let's look at the top players, though. Uh, Haikila, what has he done this year? Statistical growth, plus one in the, in the puck skills, plus one discipline, and that's it. Puck skills up one, discipline up one. Hmm. Uh, Busenius up one for poise, up one in the skating attributes. Okay. Knights, nothing. Haltonen, nothing. Lucic, now 24, nothing. See, the thing about Lucic, though, is that he simulates well. I'd almost keep Lucic despite the low overall, but a guy like, I don't know, Knights, on the other hand, not as much. But he's doing well down in the AHL. Uh, Odell, there we go. He wants to see Odell grow, finally. He's grown up from a 71 to a 74, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Nikulin, 74 to 75. Even in 73 to 74. Uh, he might be. We have uh, Brendamore. Brendamore, yeah, Brendamore is the guy who's 83. He played the first little bit. Now he's going to be back in now that Greaves is scratched. Marchant, you're not growing, buddy. You're not growing. Plus twos in the puck skills. Plus one in shot powers. And that's it. And plus one for durability. I need a lot more from Cam Marchant. He's playing big minutes. I need more from Cam. Yeah, not a ton of growth. Not a ton. Nesterov, he hasn't played at all, and he's grown to a 64. Oh, actually, no, he has played. Who hasn't? There's someone else in the system who hasn't played. Um, okay. So we'll do our due diligence and check out the trade blocks. I don't know if there's much to do. I wonder if Ovechkin's on the block, though. Remember our draft pick situation. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we put him in there. That's exactly what we did. Martian's trade value is going down, I gotta, I gotta say. It's going down. Um, we have, uh, Stortini. Medium lead Stortini. Dane Stortini. Who else is trade bait out here? Some of these prospects. Haikila, what's up, Haikila? He's having a good year, 52 and 62, but will he ever make it? Our Ponico was better last time we looked. How are we doing today, everyone? Hope Thursday has been well. Just wanted to drop in and say, hey, uh, while I'm at work, Warmaster, welcome aboard. Hope that work is going okay, and hopefully we can provide a little bit of entertainment for your time. Uh, thanks for joining us. Knights. Christian Knights, 58 points in 62 games. He's having a good year, but he's not growing. That's the problem. Odell has seen growth. That's good. And draft pick situation, we have a first, a second, a third, two fourths, and a fifth. No sixth, no seventh. There you go. Fight the good fight, War Master. All right, let's check out the trade blocks around the league. Trade blocks around the league. What are we really looking for, though? Maybe a fourth line penalty kill specialist if Beck comes out. And that would be more of a player search thing than a trade block thing. So don't get too concerned with that in the trade block. We'll go and look at the player search later. Aside from that, I think that's it. Depth forward or maybe a prospect type of swap. So Novak, Provorov, Derzy, Kurashev on the block. Former Starfleet officer, maybe he comes back, but I don't think he would be good for play for a penalty kill specialist. Uh, who's this guy? Costi. Brendan Costi. Fourth, fourth overall pick by the Canadians. I know, I hear you, Gen Z. I hear ya. Boston. Lindholm, DeBrusque, and Zaka. Pavel Zaka. Fits the fourth line, but he's 87 overall. Check player. How are the Bruins doing? They're a losing team. But where would he fit in the lineup? That's a lot of trade value. That's the problem. Um, we need nationality. It's true. For, well, if, I don't want to look at every nationality, though. So we'd have to identify the, the targets and then look at their nationalities. Buffalo, Cody Glass, San Jose Sharks legend and Data 72 Hall of Fame honorable mention, Cody Glass. Two years left on his deal. A bit too good to be a fourth line guy. Uh, Rizzi, Blomdahl, blah, blah, blah. Calgary, Jonathan Huberdeau. Who else? Uh, some prospects here in um, Carolina. Hines. Who's got Cohen Hines? Canadian prospect. Defensive defenseman. Ah, we have Erickson. We have good defense for right now. Verhage. There he is. Verhage and Reinhardt. The, every GM in franchise mode ever just wants to dump those two. Colorado prospects. We have so many. Fill yeah, I know. It's. I think it's more of an NHL 24 thing. 
because it can't be that in both Vancouver and in San Francisco, there's just so many, there's just such a lack of growth throughout. There's some growth, but there's some players that are completely stagnated between our two series. Morensky, five years left. Matheson, Bordelot, Thomas Bordelot. Uh, 79 face-offs, but 88 shot blocking, 88 stick checking. Fits the third line, and he is American. Okay, Thomas Bordelot. Uh, okay, Dallas, Severson and Haig. Prospects? Who's this guy? Austin Glass, defensive defenseman, 90 shot blocking, Canadian. Edmonton, nobody. Florida, now Los Angeles. Chef Jeff, there he is, Jeff Skinner. Tara Vinen, Middleton. Brett Howden, Canadian. Bah, 77 face-offs, I don't know about that. Ideally, I'm thinking like 82, 80, like 81 to 83 range for overall. Uh, who's this guy? Because another Kozevnikov in Minnesota. Was it Minnesota where we had Kozevnikov in that in that series? Timofey. Montreal prospects. Nashville, not much. New Jersey, not much. New uh, New York Islanders, not much. Rangers, not much. Ottawa Senators. This guy Day. Jeffrey Jerry Jerry Day, American. Brr. Uh, Philadelphia, Crawl, Pittsburgh, Nobody, San Jose, Rasmus Anderson, Fabry, Ekblad, Monahan. If he was on an expiring deal, that'll be more interesting. Gregor, Gregor, three star defense. Okay, Seattle, who's this guy? Graham Clark, 70 face offs. St. Louis, our good friends in St. Louis. St. Louis, the, one of the best teams in the league. Uh, we should on to our prospects at least until the... Ooh, we'll try that one again, Gen Z. All these guys on the block, they're one of the best teams in the league. That's crazy. I'm not going to get trade with them. Tampa Bay, ooh, Barbashev, Sergachev, Chirelli, York, Duclair, Erickson, Eck, Chernak, Kucherov, Pedersen, Jack Studnika. Prospects at least until... Oh, yeah, I'm okay with that too. I'm okay with that too. Sunika, who had that one crazy season with Vancouver with us in, like, year number one. Um, too, bad, too bad these guys, a lot of these guys have term. Toronto, Ross Colton, three years left. <laughs> Colton's got me yawning. I yawned for Ross Colton. Sonny Milano, no. Roman Yossi is here. Vancouver. Uh, no, you're exactly right, Hobbs. You read my mind. Nothing interesting. we we'll have to just look at the player search instead. Stone, Brisson, Olofsson, Brink, Formenton, who wouldn't be in the league anymore. Ryan Donato, eh, again, though. Not a, more of a shooting, scoring two-way forward. Obi Kubel? Eh, nah. Washington, Winnipeg. Our old friend, Verana. Our good friend, Jakob Verana. What's he done since he left? He's had some good years in Winnipeg. Start of the third. Thank you, Mr. Andrew. Let me pull the game up. Helix TV. Sportsnet East. Dubot, which, which team, where was Dubot? Third period starting. And what's the score? Hold on, let me just, let me, let me get a recap for the some of these games here. No problem, no problem. 1-1 uh, at the end of the second for the Canadians and the Islanders. Capitals down 2-1 against the Sabres. Flyers up 3-1 against the Rangers, but they're done. Penguins up 4-3. Yeah, third period just started. Petrie with that goal that made it 4-3. Yes. If this game could just open up. Sportsnet East. Come on, Sportsnet East. There we go. Okay. All righty. Uh, where do we see Dubo? Dubo Chesne. Dubo. Où es-tu? Voilà. Jean Dubo. Grinder. 157 penalty minutes. Whoa. <laughs> Jean Dubo. Grind. That's a lot of penalty minutes. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at um, player search. Because we didn't quite find anything in the trade blocks, I got to say. And where's Ovi? I want to see where Ovi is as well. I forget where he signed. Was he in San Jose too? Ovechkin. Ovechkin is in Florida. Ah, and Florida's good. They won't want to move him. 
they won't want to move him. 40 goals at 44 years of age. We know that Ovi always sims well late, but 40 goals at 44? Point per game plus? Whoa, this guy's crazy. He passed 2,000 points this season. I know this is the wrong series, but I do have an idea for Montreal. I mean, for Vancouver? Trade for a guy named Matt Waldron. He's with San Diego. Uh, and I love the idea of trading for a knuck. Oh, ugh, you're saying for the for the expos. <laughs> cool. All right. You know what, Warmaster, uh, or or anyone else? Can you put that in the Discord server, please, and under M in the MLB suggestions um, channel? That would be um, that would help me to remember. Time on the ice. He's playing 1708. That's crazy. You gotta you gotta let him do his thing in Florida. Oh, hold on. So back to player search. Perfect. Thank you, Warmaster, because I won't remember by next Tuesday. Okay, so what do we want to see? We want a forward. Yeah. Preferably, okay, I won't say anything for a role or type, preferably a two-way forward, but I won't say that. Um, we want, salary doesn't matter. Let's, let's try first for an expiring contract before we expand. Um, and let's say for overall, we're looking at... 80 to 83. And I want... I uh, Do I want a centerman? Yes, I do. Because it would be Beck who comes out. Let's see. And then they'd probably play center on the pony kill. Right? Mm -hmm. The EA trip just caught Zahorna. <laughs> Did I, was he in the AHL? I didn't even notice that. Because it's the Barracuda. I didn't even notice that. It was the same uh, letter initials, I guess. Whoa, they sent him down? Good catch, Shinzi. I guess he's trying to push that Jaeger, those Jaeger numbers. And then we'll say... Um, I guess shop blocking. At least 83. What do we got here? What do we got? One result. Antonio Stranges in Toronto. One result. Whew. Antonio Strange is 15 goals on the season. He's a sniper, but he has 86 shot blocking and 92 stick checking. Five-star shooting, five-star physical. What? That's crazy. Antonio Strange is really fast skater. Fourth round pick from Dallas in the real world. What's up with Toronto? Would they want to move him? Yeah, he is. That's crazy. Jager, man. They, yeah, I could see them wanting to move him. They're sellers. Now, okay, so we'll keep him in mind. Let's keep him in mind. Because what's what are his faceoffs? Uh, eighty-two. Okay, keep them in mind. Let's take off the faceoffs and change it to um, stick checking. <laughs> Let's change it to stick checking at eighty-three. That gives us fourteen players now. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a centerman necessarily, or someone who's uh, high on the faceoffs. Uh, let's sort by overall. Uh, we should probably take out the younger players. Yeah, hold on. Let's say a minimum 25 years old. Yeah, the defensive runner says, Oh, and the Penguins score to make it 5-3! to three. Short-handed goal! Jeff Carter! Turning back the clock! Woo! Huge goal for the Penguins, short-handed. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Let me see this one. Oh, that's a tough goal to let in. All right, so sorting by overall again. So there's Connor Brown, 10 goals on the season for his 19th year, 26th player ever to do that. Wow. Okay. So Connor Brown would be a winger. If it's a wing, that means Afanasev or Breland come out of the lineup. If it's a centerman, that means Beck comes out of the lineup. So Connor Brown would be good, but can't go center. Um, yeah. Bogdado, we were looking at him. Bogdado is an interesting one, I have to admit. Noel Gunler. We know Noel Gunler. No, I'm thinking uh, Noel Nord. Noel Gunler. Low defensive awareness, though. Bordelow has the higher defensive awareness, which is more valuable to me. So Bordelow might be my number one target. He, either Bordelow or Strangers might be my, my number one targets here. Colby Barlow. Mm, he's Canadian? Yeah. He's not bad either. Colby Barlow. Plus he has potential to stay. But I don't know. He's kind of like another Beck. Nicolas Roy. Morgan Geeky. 
Antonio Strange's low defensive awareness, but high everything else. That's what really interests me as well. Five star physical. There's value in that. Por que no los dos Stranges and Bordelo? Hmm. Connor Brown with a steal of the deadline. If you know, you know. Hmm. I don't think I know Hobbsy. What am I missing? Fortier. Je no Hendrix Lapierre. 88 shot blocking, 93 stick checking. Five star physical. Playing a big role though in Carolina right now. If they'd want to move him. Let's see. Are they are they a winning team right now? Uh, eh, fringe. Oh, for fantasy hockey. <laughs> the don't worry about the salary. Nicolas Roy he makes uh, two point one. I'm thinking it comes down to Stranges and um, and Bordelot. What they having? They're both twenty eight. Great. So let's do that so they we can both see it. Twenty-eight. Uh, Bordelo and Strangers. What else do they have in common? Uh, they both have at least eighty-eight shop, at least eighty-six shot blocking. I just want to see. I just want to look at just them two. <sighs> what does Lup here have that they don't? In fantasy hockey next year, enjoying for sure, Joe. For sure, we will love to have you in fantasy hockey. Lapierre's tempting as well, but I don't know. The Hurricanes are a, a fringe team. I don't know if they want to move him. He's twenty. Yeah, so is Bordelow. They're all no, they're all twenty-eight. That's true. Lapierre is playing third line. So is Bordelow. Maybe we want to look at all three of them. Yeah. So it comes down to these three options for fourth line. Bordelo has the the four and a half star physical, the eighty eight shot blocking, the eighty eight stick checking. That's great. Plus seventy nine face offs. Hendrix Lapierre has the lower defensive awareness, but the higher stick checking, as well as the better puck skills. And Antonio Stranges has the better face offs of the three, lower stick checking than Lapierre. The lower shot blocking than Bordelow. The higher physical, the higher shooting as well. Five stars. I'll take another look at Wa in a second, Gen Z. If it's going to come down to Wa, I want to decide of these three though. If it's between Wa and one of these three, I want to know who that one of those three is. So who do we like the most here? I think I lean to Hendrix Lapierre actually, but the Hurricanes are a 500 team. Um, the Blue Jackets, yeah, but they also, they also have Bordelo on the block, which is, that goes a long way too. They have him on the block. Stranges? So Bordelo's on the block. Are the, are the Hurricane Sellers? They're buyers. Oh, you know what? So Lapierre doesn't make sense there. Then, then they're buyers. So it's Stranges or La or Bordelo. A tingling sensation for Strangers says Eloi. All right. It's between Strangers and Bordelo. Fifteen goals. Playing twelve forty three. So between Bordelo. So if we take out Lapierre, we say stick checking max ninety two then. Stick checking max 92. If it comes down to Bordelo and Stranges. Stranges, the better puck, the, yeah, better puck skills. Terrible senses. The offensive awareness is super low, but vanity overall, right? Shooting, Stranges. Physical, Stranges. Skating, Stranges. Shot blocking, Bordelo. Stick checking, Stranges. Puck skills, Stranges. Uh, yeah, I think it's Stranges. The people have spoken. Let's look at strangers here. From Toronto. What would they want for strangers? Who do you want here matching the block? 
Uh, Nikulin, you want even? Knights? I prefer not to. I prefer not to. How about a goalie? Yeah, let's move one of our goalies. Uh, you want Galvis? Poor guy hasn't played. Oh, I didn't look at Nicola Roy, though. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've heard that if the defensive bonus is lower than the overall, then the player will play horribly. I've never heard that, Gen Z. Sorry, before we look at Strangers, Gen Z said look at Roy uh, and Calgary. But Calgary, they're a winning team. And they're, but they're by, they're sellers, but they're a winning team. Not by that much. Nicola Roy. Ah, I think I prefer Strangers. Yeah, I think I prefer Strangers. Getting some high uh, action in Pittsburgh territory here. Detroit almost had a good chance. Uh, sorry, back to Toronto. Sorry for the long episode for this season. Usually I like to keep the season around two hours. It's going to be like a two and a half, three hour episode probably in the end. When it's all said and done. But where am I going? That's so uh, with all the donations and everything. So strangers will come in. Who would move out? A draft pick? Or maybe we can even move you Galvis. 67, 22, backup. Richard Galvis, fifth round pick. So if I give you Galvis, and you have too many goalies now, you have a really bad goalie you can dump. AHL start. Casey to Smith. We'll take Casey to Smith back. Why not? Slim was begging for the uh, AHL veteran in the AHL. Um, do they want Haikila? Haikila's been doing well. Huh? They do want Haikila. I don't know, we might wait to the offseason to move those guys. Jonah Cambeats is a guy. Maybe Jonah Cambeats, 61 19. Maybe we should think about moving him. I don't want to move draft picks. I want to move guys who are more fringy. 62 20 on Morales as well. Jordan Morales. Power four. He was a second round pick though. I have more stock in him. So what if we move just Cam Beats? And I take back a pick. Uh, I wouldn't mind. We have no fifth and no, we have no sixth and no seventh. Can I take back exactly that? A sixth and a seventh? One from Calgary, one from you? Stranges, a sixth and a seventh. They would do it. Can we make it a sixth a, actually, can I, and then throw in a seventh in next year's draft? A sixth and two sevenths? No. All right, so we'll do a sixth and a seventh. Or hold on, let's get really uh, technical. I'll take a seventh, well, and we'll swap sevenths in 2031, since I'm assuming yours will be lower down than mine. So a seventh pick in 20, a seventh swap in 2031, and a sixth and a seventh. You read my mind, Joe. And a sixth and a seventh in this upcoming draft. What do you say, Toronto? Thank you very much. Jonah Cam beats good, va too much value. No, no, not at all. A prospect who's never going to grow and a seventh for a rental and a sixth and a seventh and two sevenths who could become more lowly uh, prospects. No, not at all. That's fine. That's for perfectly fine in my mind. Good luck in Toronto, Mr. Cam Beats. We'll go ahead and take strangers for the rest of this season, maybe longer. And then we also get some late picks in this draft, which are going to go a long way as well. We always want to have sixths and sevenths for those low elite guys who are late in the draft. So, uh, power play Pittsburgh as well coming up here. So if I say Owen Beck's coming out, ooh, what did it do here? It sent down Breland? Is that what it did? Hey, come on. Hold on a second. Go to roster moves. Did it send down Breland? What are you doing? It had, they had to, did he have to go through waivers? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That would have been a disaster. But they wouldn't have sent him, I think. No, no, but they did. That's crazy. Uh, I'm going to send down Yannick probably. Yeah, Yannick's going to move down. And Beck will stay as 13th forward. So Yannick will move down. He can go through waivers. I don't mind. Uh, go to edit lines. No problem. If he gets claimed, I wouldn't mind. But it looks like he didn't. So Beck comes out for Stranges. How's his fit here? Okay, decent. And Breland fourth line. There we go. It's a zero. No problem for chemistry. Okay. Uh, power play, four-man power play, yeah. You know what, though? Breland hasn't done much here, so it was fun to put him there, but now we're in the final stretch. Let's take him out. Perfetti, McIntyre, Hudson, this is Panarin. So Lindholm will go here, and Panarin's gonna go unit uh, number one, yeah. Yeah, Lindholm here. Panarin here. 
Uh, left wing Panarin here. And Kubali comes out for uh, Panarin. Not Panarin, uh, Lysel. Here. There we go. There we go. Is that taken care of now? Distributor is Hudson. Finisher's McIntyre. Puck Carrier can be uh, Perfetti then. Great. Are they on the right sides? No, we go here. But he's at the point, so he actually kind of has to be like that. Okay. Whew. So Antonio Stranges, let's throw you on the penalty kill. That's why we got you, buddy. So Perfetti, Rubric, we'll keep them on the first for now. Uh, we'll keep the second even as it has been for now. But Stenberg, you're coming off. And Stranges is going on. Owen Beck will be healthy scratch for now. I think it was I'm Sean Avery who always, always wants us to get uh, who a couple series where he wanted us to get Antonio Strangers and we finally got him. So Brandon Moore's going to get some starts now. Mikul is there. Okay, let's go through the deadline and go to the end of the season now, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long enough year. I probably would have cut it in half if I knew it was going to be this long, but it's okay. We're going to go ahead and power through to the end of the season. Let's get through the last game, which will be against New Jersey. Antonio Strange's Starfleet debut at Prudential Center in New Jersey against the Devils. Uh, the team that swept us out of the Stanley Cup final uh, two years ago. So a little bit of a history with us there as well. Here we go. First period, 2-1. Uh, McIntyre opens it up. Meyer on the power play. There was another penalty kill blow. And uh, Fiala makes it 2-1 after that. Second period, 4-1. Otto Stenberg on the power play. And Cole Hudson against former Starfleet officer Sebastian Kosa, who got kicked out of Starfleet. 4-1 for San Francisco. Three-goal lead headed into the third period. Final game before the deadline. Power play, 5-on-3 New Jersey. Huge penalty kill, but then Connor Brown scores as the power play expires. At least on paper, that's good for us, for the penalty kill. 10 minutes to go, up by 2. Shots tied at 30. Red Wings here in the real world. Putting on the attack. Fiala makes it a 5-2 game. That should be enough to end it. Uh, keep my eyes on two games here. Red Wings with a lot of uh, attack. Shots end tied at 33, but we win it 5-2 the final. Fiala, two goals and an assist. And Mikola with a great show, making 31 saves. Alrighty. So we're in a sim through the deadline now. 50, and that was 50. No, no. Did he already have 50? I forget. But 50 goals for Avery McIntyre. Another 50 goal season. And still another like 20 games to go. So we'll keep the current block and we'll go through the deadline. Okay. 7-18 to go in the Penguins game. Hmm. Raphael Harvey Pinar on waivers. Uh, my heart says, oh, the Red Wings score! Dylan Larkin makes it a one goal game with seven minutes to go. Whew, 7 04 to go. Harvey Pinar, where would he play? I don't know. I feel bad just hoarding players, so I'll decline. As much as my heart says yes, I'll decline. Okay, so looking at the trades. Yeah, we have Yannick. Let me see the goal here. Oh, in front. Nice goal in front there. I think it was Raquel who lost him. So trades around the league here at the deadline. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Josh Mahura. That was a little before. Josh Mahura going to Carolina. Hurricanes. Aaron Ekblad going back to the Panthers. Look at that. Um, thank you, Joe. Appreciate that. Florida Panthers trading back for Aaron Ekblad. Ekblad and Monaghan going to the Panthers from the Sharks. Carter Verhage going to the Penguins. Niels Lungfist to the Blackhawks. Vanacek to the Ducks. Dursey to the Devils. Jeremy Poirier to the Panthers. Noah Hannafin to Dallas. Cam York going back to Philadelphia. Uh, draft pick swaps there. Um, oh, did he? I'm going to look at that in a second. Zubo ended up getting traded from the, from, the, from the Canucks to the Penguins for Ryan Graves in a deal there. Uh, Sima, that prospect we were looking at, went to the Islanders. And then some picks, Sunny Milano swapping around. Was this in the AHL? AIK? That was a statement game for Cam Marchand, scoring four points in what was a crazy game. AIK wins 8-4. to four. Wow, great catch again. Great catch again from, from uh, Gen Z. Vyacheslav Emelin, I want to see him on the fourth line next season. I really want to see him on the fourth line next season. All right, so we're through the deadline, ladies and gentlemen. We're simming to the end of the year now. Hopefully no stops from here to the end. Maybe we said uh, Christopher said he wanted to see Boston, but we have no games against Boston. Is that do we not play against Boston all season? Did we not face Boston all season? Oh no, I guess it was too late at that point. Early, early on, that was a five-four loss. Okay, any teams you want to go see? Maybe 
Teams at the top of the league? Not even, eh? Maybe the Islanders. We'll, we'll, we'll sim through the game on the road, then we'll go see them at home. Uh, okay, let's sim through. On the road against the Predators, we lose 4-3. to 5-3 win, 3-2 loss, 7-4 win, 4 away from 50, 9-3 win. The Bruins have fired their head coach, Russ Rasmussen. On the road against Colorado, 5-3 loss, 7-2 win, 7-3 win, one more for 50. You know what? Let's check it out here on Long Island against one of our rivals, the New York Islanders. Can we get win number 50 against the Islanders? We're six away from tying our franchise record. It doesn't look like we'll get to 64. Slower second half than the first half. Leave a like if you haven't already for good luck for win number 50. Let's do it. First period, 1-0. It's Avery McIntyre. Class is in session. Second period, 2-0. Fabian Lysel, his first slow sim goal of the season. 22-21, the shots for the Islanders. Power play killed off early. And Kevin Fiala makes it 3-0 on the power play. Korolik breaks the shutout. Two-goal game now. 3-1 lead with 12 minutes to go. The Islanders are out shooting us, but halfway through the third period, we're up by two. Will it be enough to end it here? Five minutes to go for win number 50 to do it on Long Island. Antonio Stranges adds the icing on the cake. And Starfleet wins 4-1 for win number 50. Shots end 33-32 for the Islanders. Yuha Mikola makes 32 saves. McIntyre a goal and an assist. And we win 4-1 for win number 50. Just the second time in franchise history that we win 50 games. And we do it in back-to-back -back seasons. Alright, let's keep on simulating. We'll go through this game against the Islanders now. How many games left in the year? Five, seven games left in the season. So we need to win six out of seven to beat our franchise record. No, Fiala uh, from, uh, from uh, Switzerland. My man, Tonio. Let's go. Let's keep on going here. So 4-1 win, 5-2 win. We're still in the conversation. 5-2 loss. All right, so we got to win every game from here on out if we want to beat the franchise record. Three out of four if we want to tie the franchise record. All right, let's keep on going. Uh, no, not no, not the end yet. Not the end yet. Let's keep on going. 5-4 shootout loss. 5-2 win. 4-3 uh, overtime loss. So we won't tie our franchise record. 53-21-7. and seven. Let's end off the year here against the Chicago Blackhawks at home. We won't set a new franchise record. We're on pace for 64. We'll end with 53 or 54. So it's definitely a slower second half pace, but still a very good one. You can't always keep a 64 win pace, right? Can you make you feel better after the Caps loss? Uh, Ivan Miroshnichenko. How about that? That make you feel a little bit better? Um, I'll just I'll just say that. <laughs> First period. Woo! 4-1. Mikola, now with a good last tune-up game here. Oh my goodness. Kubelik scored one. Second period. Four. All done! We're back in it! McIntyre, Fiala, and Panarin on the power play against Garin. One of our old goaltenders, Garin, shots are 27-18 in our favor, and we're all tied back up at four. And the Red Wings tie it at five! Lucas Raymond! Lugard Raymond ties it at five, and that's a hat trick? Oh my goodness, Lucas Raymond's game is tied at five. All right, 4-4, third period, power play Blackhawks early. Big kill right there, very nice penalty kill, but then Lucas Reichel makes it five to four. Come on, Mikola, shut it down. Playoff hockey. Final 10 minutes, down by one. Power play, San Francisco killed off. Power play for the Blackhawks killed off. Final three minutes. Do we have a late hero? Final minute. Do we hop in? No, you know what? No, the episode's been long enough. We won't hop in. That's ugly enough to watch. We won't hop in. Final minute, and we lose 5-4 to four shots, and 39-28. to 28. Yeah, it's Garin. I don't know what the overall he is now, but I'm sure he's still in the 70s. Lindholm, three assists. Reichel, a goal. Panarin, a goal, and an assist. So unfortunately, we end with 53 wins, but yeah, AI is bad. Don't hop, hop in unless we need to. We end 53-22-7, our second best season in franchise history, and our second 50-win season ever. Did everyone play 82 games? Yes, they did. So here's the big moment of truth. Did we win that president's row? Oh, Avery McIntyre hit 70! Let's go! 70 and 75! All right, so here's the big question. Our pace definitely slowed down in the second half. As good as it was, did it slow down? Let's see. In the entire NHL, did we win back-to-back -back President's Trophies? Did we do it? Christopher, pouring sweat. Did we do it? The San Francisco Starfleet finished in second. No! By one! By one point!
point! No! No, by one point! I will never financially recover from this. By one point, we miss out! And I miss out, but we miss out. Christopher dancing. Oh, no. But still, 156 points. Second best in the NHL. We finish as the number two seed. 53, 22, and 7. Oh, boy. So we end as the highest scoring team in the league at 3.95 goals for per game. The second best for goals against. Tied for second best at goals against at 2.94 goals against. Power play ends at 27.2%. Second best again. 27.2... Uh, yes, that's a franchise record. Our best was 26.7. So 27.2 is a franchise record on the power play. On the penalty kill... 81. We got to 81 at least. Uh, it's the worst in franchise history. But we got back from the 70s and the high 60s that we were in. So in the end, we get to 81, and it ends up being closer to the, you know what, right in the middle. Right in the middle, 81%, I'll take it. After the horrible start, I'll take it. Ah, oh, we end 6-2-2 in our last 10. If we just could have had another couple points. Ah, oh, it's all right. But looking now in the points, oh my goodness, Avery McIntyre with 105. 105 points from Avery McIntyre. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just got the email notification. All right, Chris, we found, I see it, Chris. We found a good compromise. We found a compromise, and Chris has sent another very generous donation on top. Hold on. Between, what did you send tonight in total? That, that, plus that. That plus that. Yeah. Chris, you just guaranteed yourself a created player. Congratulations. Christopher, guaranteed player. And at this, it's kind of just for the point of the of the of the uh, for the point of the raffle. I'll keep Joe and Doggy. I'll keep that. But Joe basically has a guaranteed created player. Chris has a guaranteed pl created player, and Narp has a. So that's three guaranteed created players or players named after them. So that's gonna or or the, named after who they want to be named after. So it wasn't the number that Christopher said, which is only fair because we didn't win the President's Trophy. But it was still a very generous number that, in total, from the entire evening, was an extremely was generous enough that we're gonna say it's a guaranteed created player. Oh yes, and Mila, yes, yes, yes. Don't worry, I never forget. I, I never, I never purposely forget. If I ever forget you, it's only because of. Uh, just a lot on my mind. So that being said, Avery McIntyre shooting at 20.8%. That's a career high. 70 goals, 105 points. Career high is everywhere for the professor now 24 years of age. 70 goals, 20 power. So a career high in goals. A career high, not in a... Hold on, now I'm getting confused by the USA year. It's 35 assists, not a high, but 105 points career high. Plus 39 career high. Half as many penalties as last year. Well done. He took less shots, but shot more efficiently at over 20%, 20.8%. 20 hey, now Sport Sportsnet East doesn't want to load for me anymore. Come on, Sportsnet East. 13 game winners, ties his career high. 20 power play goals, second most in his career. Most power play points in his career. Finally, it's back. Final two and a half minutes in the Pittsburgh game. Shorthanded goal, playing 20.52 of ice time. 52.35 uh, on the dots as well. 153 hits, uh, and a good uh, ratio of takeaways to giveaways. We'll take it. Avery McIntyre in 75 games played as well, missing seven games. What a year. The point. Oh, Penguins just wide. This is exciting stuff. 5-5 five, five with two minutes to go with possibly the last playoff spot on the uh, the currency shift had me. No, no problem, no problem. Um... Basically the last playoff spot in the Eastern Conference up for grabs here. So Avery McIntyre, well done. Well done. The captain, Elias Lindholm. Uh, I forget what his pace was at the start of the, at the halfway point, but he ends with 91 points. A step up even a little bit from last season. So he continues to deliver. Ever, uh, he had that one year of 65, but aside from that, every other season, six out of his seven years in Starfleet have been 87 plus points. 91 this last year and a career high in assists 
at 70 assists from him in a 91 point plus 33 season. Well done by the playmaking captain. Kevin Fiala, 79 points from him. So not 90, but when you take into consideration that we didn't have as high of scoring as last season, it was a bit more distributed, I'll take that tied for third in team scoring. Cole Perfetti now was an odd one, as he scored 108 last year, but took a step back to 79 this year. Technically, that's where he usually was. 78, 72, 79, that's great. But to step back from 108, that's where I was concerned. Without Artemi Panarin on his line, I guess that did something. He was playing two and a half more minutes of ice time per night, but no, n that same pace wasn't quite there. Not necessarily concerning, but maybe a bit disappointing. Fabian Lysel, he wasn't just a one-season one wonder. Back-to-back 70-plus -back point seasons for Fabian Lysel. 72 points from the once-lost and now-found Fabian Lysel. Crazy. Cole Hudson, 66 points. That's a new career high for him. Plus 35 from Cole. Love it. Ryan Rubrik, he picked it up. 36 goals and 63 points. That is exactly what we wanted to see from him. Well done to Ryan Rubrik in his sophomore season. Panarin still scored 60, even though he's down to an 86 overall, playing 14-14 uh, per night. That is fine by me. 21 power play points. Otto Stenberg, he finishes exactly on pace, I think. 56 points from Otto Stenberg. Again, he keeps getting better every year. 31, 44, 56. Negative 7, which was concerning. 21 power play points. So actually, he had 44, 31 even strength points, 44 even strength points, and now 35 even strength points. So add the 21 power play points. That's great. But even strength, not as good technically. 13, 35 of ice time. Uh, Kubelik had 40 points in his Starfleet debut. That's fine. 30 seconds to go. Penguins with the onslaught here. Oh, but the puck leaves the territory. Axel Sandin Palika, whoa. Axel Sandin Palika on a 50 plus point pace ends with 39, which is okay, but as a negative 16, the second half of the season was horrible for him. He averaged almost 20 minutes per night. The second half of the season was horrible for Axel Sandin Palika, who had good offensive numbers, but negative 16 and a much slower pace in the second half. So we've got to keep that in mind. Uh, final three seconds. And that'll be overtime. Afanasev, 28 points, negative 5. What a guy. Igor Afanasev, what a monster. His fourth full season with us, pretty much. Or fourth mostly full season with us. And that's uh, his second highest point total. Igor, what a guy. Moritz Sider as our chief of security. First year, 28 points and a plus 36. We'll take it, absolutely. Uh, career high and plus minus. Love it. Love it. Moritz. Uh, Antonio Stranges, what did he do with us? Five points in 17 games, negative one. I'll take it. Why not? Playing 904 of ice time per night. I wish I could see penalty kill numbers, though. Uh, Breland, there he is. Marcus Breland, 13 goals and 21 points for Marcus Breland. With more ice time, I bet he could do so much more. Next year, I wonder if he get third line next year. Do we trade Kubelik and put him on the third line next year? Maybe. Ludwig Eriksson in his rookie season scores 20 points and is a plus 28, up to an 83 overall. Yeah, I have very high hopes for Ludwig Eriksson. Jalen Ramirez, 19 points plus 7. Romanov, 18 plus, points plus 14. Owen Beck, 15 points in 65 games, which is fine. That's his pace. Bizu bizu. About a 20-point pace. That's okay. But negative 8 was concerning. And disposal two games, nothing. All right, goaltending now. Uh, Yuha Mikola appeared in 70 games. Oh my goodness. Going 43, 19, and 6. Two shutouts, 905 save percentage, 2.89 goals against average. Brindamore, 7, 2, and 1. Greaves, 3, and 1. So neither backup incredible, really. Greaves had the better numbers, but I don't know. Mikola was a workhorse this year. Absolute workhorse. Uh, now, going down to the entire league, McKinnon won the Art Ross about 118 points. Avery McIntyre, you would hope, there you go, yeah, he put in the work. Avery McIntyre, 70 goals, winning his second career Rocket Richard, 10 more than second, which was uh, Jack Eichel with 60 goals. Alexander Ovechkin scores 50 goals at the age of 44, setting records left and right. Wow. <laughs> Defense, it was Kill McCart, 96 points. Cole Hudson wasn't too far away there at 66. Who's this guy? Kartanen. Carrie Kartanen. Hmm. There you go, Gen Z. What exactly for, for uh, McIntyre? What did Fox do on the Habs? Uh, nothing. Whoa, where is he? And there's Sam Girard, by the way. 
if you're curious about Sam Girard in Boston, last couple seasons, 52 and 54. Fox, ooh, 49 points. What? The definition of overplaying your hand. Am I, mis am I mistaking this? But he went point per game. He wanted like 6 by 17 million. Ended up overplaying his hand. Signed one year 11. And scored 49 points. Like half of last year. Whoa. And for goalies, of course, Mikola. Yeah, most wins. Hugo Onfeld played a lot. If we say uh, minimum 40 games played... Save percentage. Uh, Sorokin might be looking for the for the Vezina, actually. Could be a Vezina for Sorokin. All right, we're underway overtime here in Pittsburgh between the Red Wings and the Penguins. Yeah, I don't think Miklo's going to win the Vezina, but he would definitely get some votes for his most wins and for his uh, the the entire for the amount of games that he played. Rookie skaters. This guy Doug Halpern, thirty-eight points. And we said most power play goals in the league. Eloi, good night, everyone. My second live stream, and it was a blast. Yes, it was. See ya. Thanks for being here. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the time being here and for the dedication of um, the last uh, close to three hours now, two hours 45. Big love and thanks. So I hope to see you next Thursday or even next Tuesday for our next couple live streams. Uh, game winning goals. McIntyre had the most game winning goals, the most power play goals, and yeah, that's it. Most game winning and most power play goals in the league, not most power play points. Shorthanded goals, four for Marco Rossi. Three for Kubelik, though. Second most in the, in the league. And tied for most... Uh, actually, both uh, Lindholm and Kubelik. Two... Oh, Red Wings with a great chance there. Two of the three players with six shorthanded points in the league came from our team. Huh, how about that? Most ice time? 26 away to Makar. Whoa. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm going to see the AHL. Actually, the AHL season's not over yet. But just to quickly take a little peek... Emily, 80 points in 82 games. We've clinched the playoffs. Actually, the season is over in the AHL. So, quick look at the AHL points as well. 80 points from Emily, 78 from Knight, 74, 44 goals from Lucic, Haikila, 69, Busenia, 67. These should be players who are pushing for the NHL next season. You gotta think that there's growth. If not, I promise you, I promise you, at the start of next season, if there's no growth, we're trading at least like two of these guys Knights, Haikila. We gotta make some moves. All right, Wall, 60 and 73. Jalen Wall also looked really good. Our second round pick in 2027. Sereda with 40. Pruka with 40. Uh, Marchin ended up scoring 39 points in 77 games. So hopefully that was good for his growth. Cam Marchant. Goaltenders, Imanen looked great. Yeah, Imanen looked really good. Zherdev, not so hot, but yeah. All right, here we go. Penguins coming up on the attack again. Trying to set up in the Detroit zone. I could do a little play-by-play. -play. Now the question will be, who are we facing in round number one of the postseason? we got to wait for the wild card games to go. Raquel cuts in. Ooh, from a short angle. Good save there. Season is over. Now we're going to go ahead and... Scores! Eric Carlson, the Penguins win it in overtime! The Penguins get the extra point, And they have one leg up on the Red Wings. Now, if they won in regulation, it was a different story, but winning in overtime now increases their chances of making the playoffs by 13.4%, according to what I saw on Twitter. That now gives them a 55.9% chance of making the playoffs. Now they beat Detroit in overtime, an increase of 13.4%. If they had lost in regulation, they would have gone down by 25% and only had a 17% chance. So... They could have had 5 more percent by winning in regulation, but they still gain 13.4 instead of 18.1 by winning in, um, in, um, in overtime. Hold on, let me see, my brother sent me something. <laughs> you sent me a voice message. Let me do it on stream. Let me do it. From all the boys on stream, yes, sir, Sidney scores! There we go, I'll send him that. Whew, Penguins win. All right, so now I want to see who are we facing round number one. We're facing either the Flames, the Red Wings, the Capitals, or the Golden Knights, seeing who comes out of the wild card round for who will face us as the number two seed. We get a bye for being one of the two top teams. Thankfully, that, that's the perk of finishing number two, at least. That, at least, is the perk of finishing number two. And that's Crosby's 1,000th assist. 
And at least les habitants, they beat the Islanders. So that's big news for the Penguins again there. Um, a loss. I'm oh, sorry, no, first game of the postseason. Okay, here we go. Uh, one nothing, one one. Both series one. Both games are coming. It's a best of three, so both series coming down to a final game three. Vegas is through, and Emily. No, Emily. Ah, head coach replace. Oh, you're cheering. Uh, oh, it's two two. It's tied. Oh, I see. And we're facing the Vegas Golden Knights, ladies and gentlemen, who took down the Capitals in three games. Oh, sorry, I misunderstood. I misunderstood. So the Flames beat the Red Wings in three games, and the, the Golden Knights beat the Capitals in three games. So we're now facing the last team to make it, the 18th seed. Last year we lost as 1 versus 16. This year we're 2 versus 18. Come on now, we're 2 versus 18. Let's quickly look at Vegas' lines, and then we'll call it an episode, ladies and gentlemen. It's been long enough, that's for sure. I won't look at anything else. Contract, scouting, nothing. We're calling it as soon as we look at the lines. That'll be it. Leave a like if you haven't already, and of course, subscribe for all of our ongoing series, our two live stream series, our two ongoing NHL series. We'd love to have you, and more NHL playoff content coming soon. Simulations, breakdowns, analyses, lots of it coming your way. So here in Vegas, they have Bunting, Eichel, and Stone, who got his spleen healed. There we go. So Stone, Eichel, and Bunting on the first line. Mr. 60 goals, Jack Eichel, carrying his team. Olafson, Stevenson, and Brink on line two. Puglia Yarvi, Benek, and Formentin on line three. Lindstrom, Brisson, and Obi Kubel on line four. It's really Eichel carrying that lineup, yeah. And thank you, Andrew, for the sheet being updated. Defense, it's McCabe and Korjak, D'Angelo and Blankenberg, Miramanov and Mitchell. Again, it's nothing impressive, but in EA, you can never underestimate any team in the playoffs. Logan Thompson, former Starfleet officer Logan Thompson, who was in Vegas, then San Francisco, then New York, then back to Vegas for the last few years. He's spent most of his career in Las Vegas. 84 overall, backed up by former Starfleet officer Anton Forsberg. He had a great postseason for us a few years ago, back in 2027. Boy. When we won the cup, correct? In 2027? Uh, yeah. yeah. Phillips, Donato, and Knack as the um, healthy scratches. What does Stone do this year? 87 points. Oof. Okay. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. So there you have it. The second best season in franchise history with a 53 win year. 53, 22, and 7 was our record. And we'll wrap it there. We'll be live next Thursday evening, April 18th at 7 p.m. Eastern here on the channel for the 2030 year number seven postseason. Cross your fingers. What a night. Thank you again to everyone for... <laughs> I wonder if Simon Knack has a brother named Nick. That's good, Joe. Now, thank you again, everybody. I gotta take a second just to say thank you for an incredible night of donations, the outpouring of love. We weren't even trying to fundraise for anything in particular, but it goes towards the someday, the new laptop, the new whatever it might be, the wedding, the honeymoon, Lieutenant DeSora is gonna be very happy. It goes towards not just, well, 99.9% .9 of the time, if there's something to purchase, well, no, actually 100% of the time, if there's something to purchase, that's where the money comes from. If there's not something to purchase, and I have something big that comes up like a wedding next year, well then that will go towards that. So thank you very much for providing support in my life and for the channel above and beyond what it needs at this time. And again, hey, we can keep the, those donations rolling in every live stream. We can do live streams every night in channel content, so that counts. There you go, the honeymoon pictures. <laughs> So thanks everybody for being here. We'll be live Tuesday. On Tuesday, we're live with MLB The Show 24 for the Montreal Expos. And then on next Thursday, we're live again for Starfleet. In between there, we have our Vancouver Canucks NHL 24 franchise mode. And we'll be live, not live, we'll have um, the playoff simulation coming soon on NHL 24. Once we know all the teams who are making it and who they're facing, we'll do a breakdown. We'll have the podcast. Me and Slim are doing a podcast. My own analysis. My, and a bracket challenge on the channel as well. A bracket challenge for the postseason, which I'll be breaking down myself. My bracket was really good last season. I remember that. All right, so I'll end it there. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Leave a like if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the Discord server or over um, or in our next live stream on Tuesday evening, whatever it might be. Thanks for taking the time, whether you be live or watching after the fact. Thank you for taking the time to watch the episode. Leave all your thoughts down here in the comments or over on the Discord server. Link in the description. We'll incorporate as much as we can into next episode. What should we do with our lineup, if anything? What about the goalies? And we can start thinking about that moving towards the offseason next episode. So next, next episode. Don't worry about that yet. Just right now, how do we like the lines and how are we looking into the postseason? 
Much love, everybody. Thanks for being here. Have yourselves a lovely evening. Great Friday ahead and a great start to the weekend soon. Much love to everyone. Stay safe, stay well, and we'll talk soon. Good night, everybody.